Alrighty. Hello. This is in a wrong position. Everything is... Give me... Give me two seconds. Ah, oh, everything is wrong now. I gotta end the stream. Hello! <laughs> How is everybody doing? Ah. I kept on stress scratching my face and there's just like a bit red spot here and um this is fine i'm fine stop asking please thank you Th i'm not gonna listen i would like to say i really need to switch from streamlabs because the amount of just utter stress it's giving me uh it just it, i learned that it just changed my mic filter settings so i was trying to get them sorted out before i started and it wasn't just working right and kept on resetting and I didn't know what to do and but it works now so it's fine it's all right it's okay also yeah another thing that Streamlabs does, does is I cannot change the title in Streamlabs or the game or update any info so I have to start the stream and then update it on Twitch so yeah uh, I'm so sorry to disappoint. This is not war crimes. Maybe there will be war crimes in space. I don't know. But I hope not. No. Are you? Seven. That's so exciting. Um, I think the most expensive part of it was the tickets. Depending also where you want to go in Japan. If you want to travel around, then you'll have to account for costs of like train travel and stuff and then you might see if it's worth buying the there's like a pass that you can get but we were just in tokyo so didn't do that but i think i paid we booked the tickets the plane tickets like few months almost a year in advance basically and i think we paid 700 pounds for the tickets themselves which was uh, a lot so that was the most expensive part and then the accommodation i think for just staying in tokyo i was so surprised for just staying in tokyo we um we went to one of the apa hotels and that was for five days uh we paid less than 300 pounds for four people for two rooms so that was pretty all right i thought i was very stressed out about it and it turned out fine and it was a very nice hotel as well um but yeah you're doing eight nights of something else. I think a week in Tokyo is like ideal, genuinely. I wish I was there longer. So I really recommend it. It's such a good trip. Also, I am in my baggy jumper, but this is the only like um the only like red kind of item of clothing that I have. Besides another Christmas sweater that's just a bigger than this probably um how did i find the accommodation i we just googled it i think and i was comparing the prices for a while but the place was up a hotel that we ended up staying with hi Vuska. So, Vuska, how do you have that cute little dinosaur next to your name that's adorable i love it oh Flights and accommodation at the moment are sitting at 1,600 each, but we're going for a nice accommodation. That's fair. But that just made my heart go... Uh, uh, uh. I'll... Uh, any chance I could message you about later about... Oh yeah, please do, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm all here. I'll give you all the... There's some... Before, just, just so you can check it out, I'm going to tell you about a magical app that's absolutely incredible and that you have to use that made my travel so much easier it's called wonderlog like um w a n d e r l o g it's incredible you just you just add stuff onto a map in it and oh, there's they added a dark mode <laughs> fancy i like that sorry uh, this is very important there is um it's an app where you can basically you Google, uh, you add things that you want to see and then just adds it on the map. So basically when we went to 
any of districts like if we went to shibuya or we went to harajuku or um it, like it, 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 we had the list of the stuff we want to see and then all of them were pinned on the map so if we went to if we went to the warhammer cup which we did go to uh, then we know all, all the shops in the area bangan very very good and also it works um offline i'm pretty sure at least it did for me once you it's it's so good it genuinely made the travel so much easier and planning stuff especially when you have like a party for us it was a party of four people that also my screen is lagging a bit and i'm not sure why but maybe it's because the game is open and then the browser and everything um my brain oh yeah it was just it was just so much easier because with four people we all wanted to do different things and then like if we have them on the list and then we see where the clusters were it was very nice to go oh this is the area we're in and this is easy to do all of these things in this day so you just kind of did it by the districts although there was so many nights where we ended up just walking there was one night where both jordan and ash were tatered but me and will were like no no we're gonna <laughs> um we're gonna go around akiba we gotta go around akiba and then we spent um like we spent two hours in don quixote it was incredible it was a great night <laughs> Oh, there's two of you so far, and you're both into the exact same shit, so it's easy. That is good. That is very, very good. You're going... Oh, that's going to be probably more expensive. We went... We we went in November... Not November. We went in October because we wanted to go during, like, less crowd time. And when it's not as ungodly hot. But cherry blossom season, that's going to be beautiful. Maybe maybe that's why the, um, the price stuff... Uh... Albuska, oh, thank you. I love my Modern Warfare videos so much. I appreciate you. They were a lot of fun to edit. Although, I think I've never been so frustrated. No! I think I've been equally frustrated with myself throughout my whole life, but editing those videos and seeing my aim, I was... I... Mm, I was quite upset. I was like, oh, oh, this is me. I am doing this. <laughs> oh, thank you for subscribing, Muska. I appreciate you. Also, hi, Woo! Hello, Woo! How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so excited. We haven't chatted in so long. I'm like, Woo! <laughs> How are you? <laughs> uh, main reason you're going is the Blossoms. Other thing is you set a uh, flight and accommodation budget of two grand. You're gonna do all right, man. <laughs> it's gonna go fine. I think, um... Yeah, I, I the accommodation was surprisingly affordable. I don't know if it was the seasonal thing or is it because we we bought it like a year in advance, but I was I was very surprised by it. Been busy but good. That's good. I am uh I'm I'm uh, Whenever I want to say I'm busy, I'm like, is this truly true? But there's just so many things happening as well. But I miss you. What were you doing? Oh, hi, Torch Hollow. So, so, oh, I'm glad, I'm glad you came here to hang out for my YouTube videos. It's good. I just, I like playing games with everyone. It's very nice. Also, hello, WTD. <laughs> nice to see a lot of YouTube peeps. This is it. <laughs> To all the YouTube peeps, this is Ann. This is the legendary Ann. This is the best egg that you would ever see in your entire life. Yes. You can hold your applause for one second. And now clap. I love Ann. Sorry, this is the, this like comes out of me. Just my love for Ann from time to time. And I gotta let it out. Uh, real talk though. What's the story with vending machines? What do you mean? It was the story with vending machines. <laughs> And the office watching you stream don't tell my boss i will i will if you don't tell i won't tell don't worry about it but i've been trying to do a bit of tech detox when i'm not at work so i'm not in discord or twitch as much that is fair i think from time to time it's so important to do it i mean i am i am somebody who's like so offline for the most part that i i completely get it it's just uh, it, it gets in your brain, does it? Does does it? Does it? Tell me. It, I feel. It, I mean, for me, I know that if you know, 
there are people who are mentally well who probably love it i am not and i struggle being on internet too much uh whatever i mean like all of my notifications for like my twitch viewership whatever all of that hidden i just i chat to people i love doing it and then all of my notifications everywhere else are are off they're just not existent hi how are you doing thank you for subscribing hello Hi, trade. What? 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 <laughs> Seven saying not to brag, but I have the most niche reason for being here. Just, just wanna, just wanna get some of that Japan advice, actually, dude. Uh, message me later, Seven. I'll tell you all about it. It's um, Wonderlog Suica card. Uh, Google Translate sometimes. I, I can't read any kanji. I'ma be real with you. I know a couple, and that's about it. <laughs> you were looking for a Graves Betrayal video, and you randomly found me on YouTube. Dude, Graves' Betrayal is like... Uh, oh, Modern Warfare 2 is so good. I keep on thinking about how good that game was. I did had no right going that hard. Oh, that Modern Warfare 2 and Infinite Warfare were the two games that made me go... So good as COD games, as video games, it's, it's perfect. Adam, oh, Adam, thank you. Bless okay, you. Darling, I've been expecting you. <laughs> thank you for gifting subs. That's so nice. See, because you gifted subs, that that means um the machine has triggered into uh, me playing Baldur's Gate on stream. This is, it's just, if I play Baldur's Gate on stream, it's just gonna be like me in a dark room with a hoodie on with my um, blue light glasses sitting like this for two weeks and then not speaking at all. And then occasionally, <laughs> occasionally going <laughs> quiet for the next 17 hours. <laughs> is there a Discord? Uh, Torch Hollow, there is a Discord in the description. The link should work still, hopefully. Watch out though, there is a Modern Warfare Free Spoilers text channel. So I would recommend if you don't want spoilers for Modern Warfare Free, just mute that and you won't see it. And then you can also click um, hide muted... Hide muted threads or something. Right on the side, so then you don't get spoiled. Just, just full disclosure. <laughs> oh, so when you first met... Uh Oh my god, I forgot. Oh yeah, I did um <laughs> I forgot that I did 3D stuff on stream. No, I didn't forget. But yeah, I remember that. That was so nice. I was so nervous when um when I was doing that talk. I thought I was going to pass out. <laughs> uh that sounds like your first experience with <laughs> with Baldur's Gate Freeze, Alea. I love that. Uh, a lot of creators slash players are lampasting Modern Warfare free, rightfully so. Infinite Warfare was well written despite the negative reception it received at the time. I mean, what one thing that upsets me the most is just like people shitting on devs. Like those people were crunching to make the game. It's not their fault. Leave them alone. They did their best. Okay, I'm, I'm, you know, not the biggest fan of the final product, but also. <laughs> that and I haven't been able to leave since I'm held here completely on my own will, I promise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep on, keep on doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're here, you're here out of your own will. Don't worry. Just, 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 just smile. Smile and wave. Good. Very good. I'm glad you're here. You were the only one that asked me questions that day. Yeah. I f oh god, I think I just erased it because I was like, I I don't I feel like I haven't been helpful. I'm so afraid. Although I oh I had one nightmare experience later on, not with um people from your course, but when I was doing feedback stuff and I was helping out. And I, I think there's nothing worse than somebody literally going uh, when you give them advice and they ask you for like 
feedback on their meshes or, or their anatomy or something and you give them advice and they go i know oh yeah i know that it's like all right what are you asking me for then what's going on <laughs> Oh, Adam, thank you for explaining this extravaganza. I appreciate you. I think it's just a funny word. Uh, Can we not shit talk Modern Warfare free in this stream? I'm not shit talking Modern Warfare free. I spittled all over myself in the excitement. This is disgusting. Modern Warfare free exists. It's a game. And I enjoyed parts of it. I'm gonna... The most positive thing, I think, about Modern Warfare 3. Um, or a significant thing that people overlook. I fucking love Graves. Thank you. I love Graves. Bless that man. Baby. Baby girl. <laughs> oh, God. I tend to be the only one to ask questions at those talks because everyone in my class was too socially anxious to say anything. I'm not a character artist at all. In fact, I hate it personally, but I tried to ask questions that would help the others who would benefit from that. God bless you. That is that is such a sweet sentence. I think we had like, I think I, we definitely talked about this before and I was uh, probably my reaction was the same. It's like, that is so nice of you. That is very, very nice. But also, yeah, that is very, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I shit talk every cut equally. Modern Warfare 3 is one of the games of all time. <laughs> oh, God. Ghost, that's not nice. Might, might be the best thing about Modern Warfare 3. Oh, God. So good. So good. I... Uh, actually, instead of chatting about Modern Warfare 3, which I have been doing far too much, <laughs> it's been living rent free in my brain too much but um i've been playing zombies mode and that's really fun but it might be fun because i'm playing with cool people and maybe if i was playing it alone i wouldn't enjoy it because i heard some people who try to solo queue are having a really hard time with it so i was like i'm happy i'm happy in my little circle of peeps this is nice this is very enjoyable this is a sweet little experience we have, when I first came in stream, you asked you ask how I found you. No, no, I know, we definitely talked about that, but I feel like we probably had an exact conversation or, or a conversation that's very similar to that, where you were like, oh yeah, I asked questions about it because you did say you were a character artist, you were not interested in character. I was like, oh yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it's just exciting. <laughs> it's like, I, I remember some things so vividly or... I have good memory to certain bits, but sometimes it's like my brain will erase information. Maybe that I found it embarrassing. I don't know, because when I remember giving the talk, I always am just like cold sweat. That or like giving feedback to people. I'm like, God, I hope I helped them. I hope I didn't ruin, I, I don't know, something. Maybe, maybe I didn't help them. Maybe I didn't uh, gave them a bad advice. Oh, God, everything is ruined. And I'm like, maybe let's stop thinking about this. But most of the time, my brain just doesn't erase it. It just stays. But it's also I have a peanut brain. Maybe the, uh, I was a capacity for information and my brain went, oh, all of these lovely memories of chatting with people. Uh, sorry, move this over. We really got to get that Epcot history smushed in there. <laughs> I personally prefer environment art. I thought you were really helpful. I'm a shit character artist and you got me through my module. God bless. God bless. I don't think the link works. Oh, I am so sorry if the link doesn't work. I will check it later on and try to fix it up. So my apologies. This is a, I am, I'm struggling to do any minimal tasks right now, which isn't great, especially with like stream stuff. I have the lineup of the emotes for like half a year now and then i'm like oh wow this will not get finished i'm gonna look at it and think about how bad this is it's bad i don't love that i don't love that about myself i wish i was just more like job done this is fine we can move on but if i really care about something i'm just i'm paralyzed it's fine it's great 
Mug of the day. Give me one second. I will show the mug of the day in a second. Uh, I also still won't forgive ZBrush. I don't think anybody should ever forgive ZBrush, actually. Remember that boss in Elden Ring you were struggling with? You bored them to death with ZBrush or lore? That, that got me to so many things. There was another... It wasn't a boss. It was an NPC in, uh, in Elden Ring that I think I was just chatting about Disney facts. And I finally beaten them and I was like, this works. This actually works. Uh, speaking of Elden Ring and speaking of Japan, uh, I got a Blythe shirt when I was in Japan and it actually worked. Oh my god, Adam is being a fucking mod over here. Thank you so much. Thank you for a working Discord link. <laughs> uh, I I love that. Thank you so much. Uh, what am I thinking about? Why was what what was I saying? Oh, I was thinking about Blythe. I'm sorry. I was thinking about Blythe and not calling him Blythe, because that's a crime. Daz taught me that's a that's a crime against Welsh people to say Blythe, not Blythe. And before that was actually my Discord link, dude. You gotta hustle, you gotta hustle, and I'm, I will. I'll be like, yes, this is actually my Discord. <laughs> I have this badge only for show, and it looks beautiful on you. Absolutely stunning. You all be inducted into my cult soon enough. Yes. Yes, this is your own little cult of lamb. Speaking of Cult of Lamb, God, I love that game. We, I, it's a bit funny that I'll play a game on stream and people will not understand how much I'm actually obsessed with the game because I, I played Cult of Lamb once on stream. And I 100%ed that game in a week after that. So I really liked it. Listen, it was a really good game. It was really fun. I don't have a sword. I'm not. I'm not allowed one. It's sharp. Oh God. My mom said I can't run around with the butter knife. And this is why Diga, Diga vanishes periodically. Yeah, partially, honestly, most of the time it's like either tech issues or like I was struggling so much with family stuff. But sometimes. You just play a game and you really like it, okay? That's why you don't understand when I say I cannot, and I, I repeat, I cannot get back into Final Fantasy XIV or, mod uh, or, or Modern Warfare. I can't get back into Modern Warfare. You will not take me back. I can't get into any MMORPGs. The, the amount of times where I see like friends play uh, World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy XIV, I'm like, it could be me. I could be there. We could do this together. We could, we could, uh, we're friends. We can do this together. Yeah, I, I'm, I can control myself. I am a cool little guy. I will not disappear off the face of the earth. No, I will. I will. Yeah, I, I, you will think that I am normal and I am, I'm not. <laughs> you will think that I'm doing okay and then you suddenly, oops, somebody is mining nodes in Final Fantasy XIV at 4 a.m. Oh wait, no, I can do I can do another rotation of this nodes. I just I just need to wait a little bit longer. Oh yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I gotta craft that. I really gotta craft that right now. And then you go like, oh maybe maybe um maybe go take a nap. It's like no 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 no. This is uh this is actually the prime time for an Ixion Ixion farm right now, and I really want to get that mount. So I really gotta stay awake for a couple more hours. I I can't do this. I can't do this. Also, in case you wonder how long it has been since I played, it was when you had to farm Ixion and it was a nightmare. It's been a while. It's been a long while, but I know. I know how I am. That's why I'm not recommending Genshin to you. You don't want to play games with me, and You don't want me to go utterly obsessed over a game? Thunder. What do you mean am I dropping COD completely? I finished Modern Warfare 3! I did most of them! What do you mean? I still have, um... I still played... Uh, I still haven't finished Cold War. So... 
so. So what's going on there? <laughs> it's time for Diga to play the wonderful COD known as Black Ops. I played first Black Ops. I played the second Black Ops. And I started Cold War. And Cold War was the one that I was the most excited for. And then I got incredibly ill. And been on antibiotics for however fucking long. Ugh. Time to play Call of Duty 2. I genuinely want to play the, the OG Call of Duties. I'm quite excited and I would really like to play them. Also, I don't know. I, I, I might have I might have um rushed my makeup a bit today just because I was trying to get my mic to work and I looked at myself and I was like I look like a sad porcelain doll when I look at myself in the little screen thing I'm just like or oh, like one of those creepy clown porcelain dolls that's how I feel uh Called to the game where you can throw potatoes instead of grenades. I choose peace. I choose potatoes. Yeah, there are still CODs that I would like to play. I'm just like... You know, when you buy a cake, you don't really want to gob it all up in one go. Sometimes you're just okay with letting the cake sit in the fridge for months on. And they're like, this is still good. This was still good. Maybe I can freeze it. It's been three months over the expiry date, but I'm sure this is still gonna be good. So I'm gonna wait for the cake a bit longer. Uh, I, I will probably go back to Cold War at some point. I just... I want to play Invincible! <laughs> I, <laughs> I remember what we're here for. We're here to play Invincible. And I am very excited to play it. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a game. It's a game based on a Polish sci-fi novel, novel by Stanisław Lem. Uh, the Polish name is Niezwyciężone, but the English name is The Invincible, which is also the name of the game. And the game company is a Polish game company based in Krakow. And they all seem like cool dudes. And I was like, this is all, this is all a Also, it's like a retro futurism aesthetic. It's really cool. I am, I am so, oh, I'm so, I'm so excited to play it. I don't know. It's, you know what? Let me be Polish sometimes. I think sometimes I'm okay. It's okay for me to be proud of the things that um, my brethren create. I still haven't played Darkwood, but I will play it at some point. Uh, which cod would be the frozen cake in this analogy? I, my client doesn't have to answer that question, actually. Um please let, let's keep on going uh, what's the premise of this new game that i'm trying a group of scientists arrive at a mysterious planet not mars i think weird things start happening one of them gets isolated what is on the planet is it what is it a life form that they didn't quite recognize is there still life on the planet are her other comrades okay i don't know that's the premise of the game and it's oh. being polished not allowed ban him polish people suck <laughs> here here <laughs> Please don't 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 take back my nationality. I did they're not gonna give me one over here. I love being Polish. I love pierogi. Yeah. I don't have any right now. I have Ushka in my freezer. <laughs> I'm saying that like it's a it's an indication of being Polish. It's like, oh I have barsh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in my fridge. I have um I have about 70 jars of pickles. Does that make me Polish? <laughs> I will never get through them. I have more pierogi than you. You take that fucking buck. Those are some fighty words, buddy. If I ever heard any. But yeah, I am all dressed in red today because of Invincible. Because the cover is red with a little helmet, a little, little skull and a helmet. 
and I was like, ooh, red, invincible. I was gonna be more spacey, but I was like, I, I, I don't really... It's cold and I want to wear a turtleneck and then I want to wear a huge jumper over it, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello, darling. Come in, come in. Thank you for the follow, the boss. I appreciate you. Do you like my do you like my red sweater? Please say yes. Thank you. I made a mistake of playing Word at War on Max Difficulty. I didn't know Max Difficulty meant grenade dodgeball. Uh, I I don't think he, I'll ever play any... No, I played some of the Modern Warfare 2 on max difficulty, but I didn't enjoy it. Just like how I played Nier Automata on the max difficulty. Nope. I'm alright. <laughs> I'm just a man. I wanna... I, 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 I don't have the time or patience for that. Great sweater. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so very much. Cozy sweaters are the best. They're so good. This is This is just so... This is just nice. It's look how much room is in there. I love it. This oh, I don't know. I just think it's cute. Very Christmassy too. Also, my cheeks are burning up. I'm still ill. I never will stop being ill, apparently. So this is just my life now. Wait, there's a there's a new Polish operator in Warzone Un, and I didn't know. There's somebody else besides Gromska? Who? You can't distract me right now, we're playing Invincible, huh? You absolute bastard! Ugh. Now I have to Google him. His call sign is Swagger. I'm sorry that I'm just typing into my phone while, you know, we're all hanging out. Uh, Ro Roland Swagger Kaminski? Oh, Kortak! Kortak, baby! Let's go! <laughs> sorry! Kortak, baby! Let's go! Of course he's Kortak. Bless him. Okay, was he afraid of a painting of a hussar? Despite being Polish, Swagger speaks with a French accent, likely due to his upbringing in the country. A betrayer of his own nation. How fitting. I don't claim him! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Well, it's good to have Polish people in video games. <laughs> He's not one of us. Oh my god. Also, yes, I am Polish. I love my country. I don't- why did I say that with the cadence of Grace going, You know I love that shit! I love my country! <laughs> I need to be- I need to make myself smaller. I don't wanna- I don't want to take up space on the screen anymore. I want to disappear a little bit. Uh, when you will be finished with cuts, you could play Battlefield. Maybe at some point. I would maybe like to play some... The thing is, like, the list of the games I want to play is so big that I'm sometimes like, I need, I need a variety of meals. I need to play a Tales of game at some point. That is a palate cleanser. Swagger. Calling a poli- That's a hate crime. I'm calling it- That's a hate crime if i ever seen one. Call it, calling the Polish operator Swagger? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm Polish unsubscribed. The rightful choice, honestly. I am the one that brings my country to shame, actually. That's the plot twist. I'm repping Poland with my sweater today. Kind, I mean, I'm repping the colors, but this is actually an industry workshop jumper that I exchanged for the industry workshop t-shirt. So, yeah. Mm. 
God, I'm like so red. I have been also using new meds and it's making my skin peel so much. But they say it's gonna it's gonna cure me. So maybe. It's not gonna cure me, it's just gonna make my skin better, but who knows. Uh, if you're Polish, where's your Legia scar? I don't have to. I don't have to rep Legia to be Polish. And there's a knife slowly coming into the frame as I say it. I don't know. I don't. I'm not gonna talk football. Absolutely not. Oh, we did. We're done. We're done with that Polish conversation. I know nothing about. Listen, I love. I love the only being the only Polish sport that I like is volleyball, and these guys are not getting enough funding. It's been, it's also been a while. Okay. Anne, I will not be discussing Polish sports themes with you because, um, no. Absolutely not. Not today. Or ever, for that matter. Also, hello, Super King. How are you doing? We're, we're playing Invincible. Cover? of invincible and kind of colors red jumper red task completed mug of the day for invincible i thought ooh, maybe something spacey maybe something retro i do not possess something that is spacey and retro besides the space mountain mug and i used that for dead space and then i spilled it over my keyboard and then i got a new keyboard so It's also just a red mug to match the red game, to match the red sweatshirt. Because it's a Tim Hortons mug. I love this mug so much. Can I have anything from Tim Hortons? No, not really. I can have a black coffee from Tim Hortons. That's about it. I cannot have the French vanilla because I'm lactose intolerant. I didn't mean to. Sorry, this is not at you. There was just a tiny little fly. Not a fly. It was a tiny little... That's just dust. Well, that was just dust that was going around and I thought that was a that was a bug. That's embarrassing for me. Anyway. Have you had French vanilla? Seven. I fucking swear. I think about it. I hope <laughs> I was hoping for a hollowed out skull to go with the cover art. There's still time. Do you wanna do you wanna make the incision? Do you wanna make me bolder? <gasps> oh my god. My dream. If I ever decide to go bald, is to have a hyper realistic wig and show up on the stream and just do this, pull it back, give myself a scratch, and then go back on. That's my dream. But you know, not every dream has to come true. I did shave my wife's head once. Do you want to shave mine, Wu? Please! Go to town! I just, I really wish I could go bald. I just don't have the bone structure for it. <sighs> I saw so many of my friends that went, like, went bald and just looked so good. And I wish that was me. If I'm ever in the UK again, sure. Thank you so much. I will wait. <laughs> Whenever you pass through the old country, please send me a letter. Have a hyper realistic wig, and every time you meet someone, raise it like an English gentleman raising top of their top hat. A counter argument. Shave a circle right here. So just decides. Have a cap and then tip the hat. And then you have a bold little hole and go. Mom, that's my dream. Dream number two. My dream number three, it's not my dream. Okay, that's the third thing is not my thing. Uh, uh, the third thing is not a dream because it has to come true. I have gave specific, I've given specific instructions for it is that I want to have um, eight clowns and one magician from at my funeral. And I, I will pay them well, but they have to perform the entire time. Most of the fun for my funeral is going into the clowns and the one magician. But somebody who will go the hardest, and I will, I, I will assign 
um, hopefully my best friend, who will definitely outlive me, uh, one of my best friends uh, who will definitely outlive me, um, into maintaining which one of the clowns, or if it will be magician, which one will put on the best show. That's my dream. No, that's not my dream. That's my plan. That's gonna happen. That's gonna happen at my funeral. So if somebody wants to come hang out at the funeral, you know, just, just let me know. Or let somebody else know. I probably won't be able to take your call at that point. There's a character in Juju Kaisen who can do that? Oh, you mean being bold. Okay. God, I am... I haven't watched any Juju Kaisen. I'm so sorry. We all know I'm standing at the back of your funeral in a suit and wearing an earpiece. Oh my god, yes. Can I wear a full Donald Duck outfit? I'm, are you gonna just make a mockery out of my funeral? Is that what you're doing? This is a serious kind of, you know, um, this is a serious event and the fact that my death is just bringing you so much joy is um, it's quite troubling, actually. I remember Mickey was taking- Oh my god, yeah, the Mickey, the Mickey impersonator. You know what? Yeah, 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 you can watch him. It's fine. <laughs> Are you going to forgo pants at my funeral? Oh my god, just going up to the... Oh my god! Saying your last goodbyes, walking up to the casket and going... Rest well. Oh my god. <laughs> just absolute shock. Oh, you're talking about Anne! I thought you were talking about me being put in my casket, just no puns. Yeah. Sorry, I um I skipped a line from this conversation and the thing is, sorry, I didn't even skip a line. I was just like, oh, this is a separate conversation. Pants off. <laughs> Uh, I'm fine. I'm so well. I'm so emotionally well. You'd forgo pants while lying in your casket, Pyrev. I don't know. I don't, I don't make these aesthetical choices. I hope whoever is gonna lead my funeral is gonna, you know, make me look slapping. Is there... Just hire one of those um children party uh makeup artists who do like tiger masks and stuff and just do it in the casket in front of everybody watching during my funeral and then go around the room and be like anybody else anybody else want to uh want to uh, a tiger mask a shark a clown perhaps or maybe a lion they're not gonna wash the brushes, by the way, after the after my body. So you know, or in some way, we're gonna always be connected. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm fine. I'm so it's all good. Morbid, but I imagine you'd like a wicker coffin. A wicker coffin? Just bury me in raw. You know how much wicker baskets are. I'm not paying that much. Throw me in the ground. It's fine. I don't need a coffin. Bury me with all my mugs. That will take up like a whole cemetery, I think. Probably. Right. So let's stop talking about my death. I am. I planned enough for it. It's fine. There's folders. Raw dog it. <sighs> right. This is fine. This is not fine. I still look like a sad porcelain doll. Or maybe like, um... No, I just look... Yeah. I don't know, something about my face today screams, wow, that's sad. Which is, you know, the look that I'm always going for. I showed you mug of the day. I showed you my mug, please answer. Now we're going to be playing Invincible before I go on a bigger tangent. It's working! 
You missed mug of the day? I showed it! You bastard! Here you go. Mug of the day, Tim Hortons. Ugh. Right. Is this, um, is this loud enough? Is this too loud? I can go lower with the volume. Voice volume, I like to be the loudest. So. Are we fine? Is this alright? Is this, is this... Ugh. Color coordinate as well. Yes! Hi, the Dragon Gaming! Um... Volume, okay, yeah, volume sounds okay, but it's just ambient music in a moment. Let me know if it doesn't sound okay when we get in. New game! Let's go. Polish games, Polish people making games. I'm very excited. Oh, it's so pretty. The Dragonfly, a small research unit of the Interplanetary Commonwealth with a crew of six, travels the distant regions of space. After visiting many worlds and exploring numerous planets, the research mission comes to an end. However, on the way home, there's one more task waiting for the crew. Despite the risk, Astrogator Novik undertakes the extraction of a rare and extremely valuable mineral himself. Novik gets the mineral, but at the cost of a broken leg and immense pain. The Astrogator's incident doesn't stop the crew from happily celebrating the end of the research cycle. It was a time of creating deep bonds and feeling unstoppable. Victorious, they set course home and go for a well-deserved rest in the hibernation chambers. I love the art. It's so pretty already. The comic book style. Oh, this doesn't look like hypersleep! Where am I? On my head. Barrett? Anybody? Can I get up? Oh, there's some wobbling on the textures. That that is definitely just my fault. S movement. Yep. 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 Hold. Uh, piss. Oh, <laughs> that's not an option. Sorry. Hell, are you there, Koval Mare? Yes, and debate. So you're part of problem. Um, the middle one. Hello? Is anyone there? Uh, Koval? Marit? Oh. Hey, this is Yasna. I was just with you. And now, I don't know where I am. Or how I got here. I've got a splitting headache. To get up, please. Does anyone hear me? Base, do you copy? Are you there? <sighs> yeah, there's some wibble the wobbles. No damage to the suit or bone structure. Yeah, but something's fucking wobbling on all for this. Oh, that's that's a hold of the headache. Contact your crew. This seems all right. Also, gonna do the thing that apparently Streamlabs does every time that it just lowers its own um, volume. Yep, it did that fucking again. Streamlabs, I will find you. I, I don't have to find you in front of me. You're just upsetting me. Uh, you're gonna tell me if it sounds too Polish. Thank you. I love how they keep Polish names and things. I mean, Yasna is spelled with a, um, with a Y instead of J, right? So, also Novik should be Novak, shouldn't he? I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're not even Polish. Maybe we're just talking smack about nothing. Mm. Oh, yeah, I know. 
Epic, 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 epic. Settings, balanced. Performance. Ultra performance? Quality. Can I go farther? No, everything is on epic. Motion blur. No, absolutely not. I mean, other way, it would be Jasna? No, not Jasna, Jasna! Like Jasna. Bright, right? Jasna. Is it a Polish name or are we freaking out? Because Novik would be Novak and Jasna would be... No. Jasna. Polskie imię. Sorry, I'm speaking a foreign language. My apologies. Yeah, jasna imię dla dziewczynek, znaczenie imienia. Oh, wait, what's the meaning of the name? Do tell me. Sorry, I went on a tangent immediately. It's a Slavic name in origin. Oh, yes, it is. Um, it, it's drobie, uh, uh, so there's like a sweet way of saying names in Polish. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, but jasna could be jasuś. Jas, jasusia? Yasunia, Yasushek, Yasechek, Yasechka. Y ah, this is so cute. What's the meaning of the name? <laughs> it tells me that it'll tell me the meaning of the name. It's not telling me the meaning of the name. Yasna means bright. Yasna means bright. So, a, a bright little girl? Yasna is a bright little girl? Yasna. I mean... <sighs> Zyasna, spelled like Y-A-S-N-A, -A, is the Avestan name of Zoroastrianism, principal act, act of worship. Okay, uh, maybe... <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's not supposed to be Polish. I got, I got immediately caught up in semantics at the very beginning of the game. This feels fitting. <laughs> also, hi, Ferenzi! How are you doing? I'm sorry I, I yelled. I'm excited to see you. <laughs> right, Yasna. Sorry, Yasna. Let's go, Yasna. Yes. Back to the game. Oh, oh the tech looks so good. Ah. Also, look at the wear inside of the backpack, like the leather on the inside, where the cables would be touching from the closing and opening. And you see the wear and tear in the spots where the cables would be repeatedly touching. The game. Game! <laughs> this is stunning! Also, not even to mention Hello, the... Hello, darling. Come in, come in. Hello, Bright Cat Lopes. I love your name. That's a, such a good name. But do you see? Incredible. Also, I, as a character artist, I would like to say the fact that the, the stitching is the right sizing just uh, it makes me so happy look at the variation and the stitching sizes when it comes to the backpack itself and to the gloves isn't that exciting don't you love life don't you love game art i love game art this game is stunning we're in this for two seconds game of the year change change the nominees right now <laughs> obsessed with your passion for dirt i fucking love dirt dirt in games so hard to make look good no, 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 it's, sorry, it's, um, it might be easy to make dirt look good in video games, but it's hard to make it look great. That quote means fucking nothing, actually. I just love, I just love game art. <laughs> Woo! Why are you using that icon? What, what's going on there, buddy? Okay, well, let's, let's look. Communication module, uh, made in TSR. Texas Soviet Republic. Oh. oh, bollocks. 
Bollocks. Uh, oh, are you there? Are you there? Base? I heard you for a moment. My receiver's dead, but the transmitter... It may still be working. So pretty. Oh, I don't understand the little wobbling, though. Give me... Mm, this game doesn't deserve to be wobbly. This game deserves all the best. Um, would it be this? Whatever. Maybe let's go into DLS. Oh, piss. Oh, no. It looks fine, no? Right? It doesn't look wobbly anymore. Uh, oh, you're from what? You're from Emma's Discord? Hi! Oh, I need- I, I want to make Emma play- I don't want to make Emma do anything. <laughs> Sorry. I want to play Apex with Emma again uh, because it's so nice when you play with somebody who's so much better than you at the game and then you're like, I want to learn. I want to learn from you so bad. Right, sorry. I'm, uh, I'm fine. Oh god, look at the... Steve... I... We've been in this game for two seconds and I'm already like, I would like to spend all of my money to allow this company to make uh, one billion games forever. This is beautiful. And I, uh, Yasna said a couple sentences. I'm like, hair. <laughs> hair. And all, full disclosure though, the reason why I'm playing it is also because I saw my, uh, my roommate play some. And then I was like, I can't know how this goes. I need to play this myself. This is too good. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god, look at- no beacon! So no beacons? Ox I two solid hectobars in the tank. That's enough for several hours. Oh, there's a radiation meter as well on the little wrist. On the little wrist, on her wrist. I was like, on the little wrist! Ah! Damn it, I've lost my beacon. Where is it? So we're looking for a beacon first. The patch! I want that patch. Food supplies. How much? Many supplies, which would suggest a quick recce. Or was it just the end of the mission? What's in those tubes, I want to know. The, the fact that they're colored green is making me go, hmm. Hmm, interesting. Also, boy, did you tell the inspo for this game? I think I did. It's based on a story by Stanisław Lem uh, called Niezwyciężone, which means the invincible. In English, in Polish, it's it's a Polish author, but his stuff is great. I really recommend a read of um, is it Fairy Tales for Robots? The English, I'm gonna let me just let me just um, see if I didn't. He did Solaris that I know, because I read Solaris at least. I didn't read The Invincible, so. I think I vaguely know things. The Star Diaries. That's the one. Give me one second. Yeah, the Star Diaries is the one I was thinking of. What I was... What was I saying? Who knows? No! Fables for Robots! Never mind. I was so ashamed for a second that I was like, Oh my god, I'm mistaken Stanislaw of Lem for another, another sci-fi dude. I... I'm gonna take I'm, they're gonna take my Polish nationality away immediately. Bikey Robotów is how it's called. And they're fables for robots or the fairy tales for robots. Yeah. It's I mean, it says the fables for robots online on, but fairy tales is a direct translation, you're right. <laughs> and that you're saying in the tube there's like pure red pierogi, but Ruskia? Or, um, z kapustą i grzybami, sorry, uh, the Russian pierogi, or, um, sauerkraut and mushrooms ones, or my personal favorite for the summer, girlies, is pierogi with, um, I, I don't know, I'm doing that gesture, I'm sorry, uh, pierogi with blueberries. But he's a fantastic, Stanislaw Film is a fantastic sci fi uh, author. I 
some of his stuff was an obligatory read at school. That's why I um I remember some of the bits about him. But yeah. Polish people! Let's go! <laughs> Sorry. Let me let me let me take a quick sip of my pureed pierogi. Oh, that's Nothing. I'm on my own. What do you mean nothing? Look at this gorgeous piece of equipment. Detected either. Uh, uh, show patch. Look at this patch. There's a patch there. Um, look at it. Oh, there's also. It's also on the. The design is also on the book. Okay, we're good. Review oh, your notes. The past me hasn't failed the present me. Yes, no, I if, hope she took notes. if you haven't drawn a dick inside of here, I don't, I'm not sure if you're a real scientist. Are we on Regis 3? Does that ring any bells? And my crew have no way to tell me. So I report that I have no recollection of this planet. The last thing I remember. Hang on. We've closed the research cycle. We, we were already in hibernation. Flying back. Is my blackout a side effect of metabolic depression? That would be bizarre. Depression? I'm so sorry. Also, I feel like it, we can go a bit louder. I just want to hear Yasna. I, Yasna has... Whoever is voice acting Yasna is doing a fantastic job and I love her. For some reason, our crew split into two groups. The first one set up camp. I wonder if I was with them. Or... Am I on my way there? So we're just looking forward to hopefully our team being okay down here? Wait. Did it apply? Yeah, it did apply. <laughs> I have no memory of this place. There are slight differences. Oh my god, we're gonna be... Oh, we're gonna be talking about meaning of words and differentiations about specifics. Oh, I like it. Teach me. I am shilling this game so hard. You're starting to think that I actually worked on it. God, I wish. I genuinely, looking at this game and when the trailer for it came out, you know you have those moments in your life where you're like, I haven't been a part of this. What a fucking waste of me. <laughs> Why? I need- I should have done everything in my power. And I should have. This game is so beautiful and stunning. And- uh, We've been in this for three seconds and I'm like, I will die. For Yasna. <laughs> there are differences, yeah. Fables have a moral at the end and the characters are usually animals. It would make sense in that they're um, then called uh, translated as fables for robots because of the content. Oh, that's so fun. I, sorry, I was like, I, I just kind of faded away and I was like, is there a word differentiation like that between um, in Polish? But that's... Is there? <laughs> Polish people help me. I don't- I don't speak Polish anymore, besides talking to my grandma. I feel like we talked about this in literature class at some point, but there's no different name for those in Polish. Yeah! Or maybe there is, and we just don't remember. <laughs> Both groups landed in the same place. Okay. So we were together then. Unless we landed later. But then that would indicate uh, that we would have to have a new marker. We took two landers to the surface. Do this. Oh, the first one broke. Beetle and Hopper. Research site. The first group explored the ocean with no biologist. It's weird. And the other one, just me, took a different route. Okay. Leading to. Dog. Needle. Croco. Right. I was heading straight to the camp. 
Is it rock formations or? <laughs> you must be somewhere near. Oh, um. Give, Give me a, a sign. sign. Send up a flare, the probe. Anything. Okay. I'm gonna head let's, to the camp. Let's get up, Yasno. I'm keeping an eye out for you. Let's that get works. up. Well done, past me. Oh, <laughs> you didn't disappoint after all. Oh, I sound like I need to stop doing. No, this. please don't stop doing this. I fucking love you, Yasna. I don't want anything bad to ever happen to you. I'm looking for something that resembles a dog. Uh, that. A specific structure which does not resemble any canine i mean this looks kind of like i don't know if i would say a dog that looks more like a croc I'm checking another object which also doesn't match oh focus also the lens oh the oh the, oh, the vintage has lens it looks so pretty sorry See, I don't have enough information to really know what kind of, um, which lens this is referencing the design of, but I like it. And I'm gonna exclaim. That... Rope. That rope. I think it's mine. I'll try to retrieve it later. It might come in handy. Alright. Anything else that's popping up? Here to um oh dog Bingo. I found the dog Hell yeah Yasna we might survive this we good we have the first one I need one more uh needle An object I called needle that looks like needle on the left right right it resembles the eye of a needle I report that I have established my position. Time to hit the road. Oh, that's our map. Oh, video games are good, man. Video games, video games are good. The lens is looking great, like the metal and the wear in the metal. Exact. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny because in German we even have a type of word, uh, Fablewesen, which is uh, always a type of creature slash animal in Fable. That's cool. Croco. Oh, I can sprint. <gasps> oh, let's keep on going, Yasna. I'm gonna go grab that rope. Croco. Dragonfly? I think I see our ship. Oh. You're not leaving without me, are you? God, I hope not. Doggy, and then we step off the rock and immediately die. Don't don't jinx me. I'm in canyon. in canyon. Which doesn't make it easy to navigate. Oh, I hope the data's trustworthy and you're close by. Alright. Don't give me Oh! God, I love Yasna already. Her humming was so cute. I think it cured me. I think I'm no longer ill. I don't need my antibiotics. I am good. I am right. Life is good. Ah! Oh, ah, oh, she's so cute! I love her! It's fine. It's fine. If she suddenly turns into Bionic Commander! You can't say it right after I was. You can't be. You can't be this funny, right after I was amazed by her beautiful singing. Okay, I mean humming, but it's singing. <laughs> Parisi and Zalea are that Spider-Man pointing meme right now. <laughs> can I? Can I? Can I rappel down? Oi! 
never mind. Yasna can parkour. We're good. Oi. Oi, oh, yes. Oh, don't don't speak Polish now, me. I uh, this is not just isn't a Polish speaking stream. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Also, I love that you get a bit of your um, because it seems like you keep on talking to your crew, and the fact that you have that little mic in front of your face. Nice, very good, very good. Good game. Also, tracker, I barely even know her. Um, you know what? I trust the... I'm gonna just lower it a little bit. Because... The, it's, it's... The, like, the ambient sounds are quite nice. <laughs> These fox, fox went and crash landed on Pandora! Yep, this this looks like Pandora. Where are the skugs? What a reservoir! Huh. There's water on this desert planet. Unknown liquid. Hmm. Or another liquid that did not allow the biosynosis to form. It won't be easy to replenish drinking supplies. Not without tests. Filtration, as we all remember. She has a name tag. The third rule. Oh. Are we getting a are we getting a flashback? Oh, we're waking up. I was about to. Oh, hi. Cool suit. Oh, awake. Good. Uh, my mind is still in hibernation. Awake, but my brain is still in the fridge. I wouldn't be so sure, my dear. Clearly your sense of humor was first awake. Now, try to get up, slowly. But Gorski doesn't look so well. How are you holding up, Gorski? Don't get up just yet. Is it really so hard for you to remember a couple of simple rules? <laughs> I have to stretch my legs. They're numb. Hibernation will do that. Just sit for a while. Uh, what? Here, take it and remember the third rule. Yes, I know. Stay hydrated. In small sips. Third rule. How can you get up so Always quickly? <laughs> the first one to get up. I don't know how you do it, Murray. It's a matter of habit. After so many cycles of cryogenic sleep, one either gets used to it or becomes a tortoise. Great. Oh, I choose the tortoise life. Pavel, will you help me here? Sure, I'm coming. This is not our system. Has anyone noticed we're in the wrong place? Kovel, it's not a good time. Yasna, look for yourself. This is not the right planet. Oh, God. Great. You shouldn't be walking yet. Kovel, could you stop it? I'm telling you, we woke up in the wrong place. Yes, we heard you. Enough nope. of this, Yasna. Take a sippy sip. Hydrate. Debating chamber in fifteen minutes. Oh, Novik is the one who got hurt during the it's previous expedition first, before we yeah, went to Price League. Hold on to it and remember. Hold on to it and remember. Stay hydrated, kiddos. Oh, tracker. Oh, the tracker. I assume it's no one from the crew, so perhaps it's my beacon. Oh, uh, uh. mm. oh, getting warmer. Beacon, come here, my boy, here. my boy. I found it. Look for me on your trackers. Mm -hmm. 
I love her. I'd die for her. Find a way to come. Where are we? Uh, yeah, let's just keep on going, I guess. Let's go, yes, no. Does that look like the right way? Okay. Moving on. I found a way out of the valley. Leading more or less towards the camp. Did I? Well, I can't go this way. Yeah, I was like, I don't I don't think I don't think this is good for us. There's a there's a spot right in the middle of there, Yasna. We're gonna be We're gonna be good. We're gonna be good. It's all good. It's gonna be in my head now, as well. Thanks, Yasna. Great. Right. No time to lose. Oh, am I going the right way? I already got lost? No, 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 we're good. Stop it. I swear to God. Okay, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> to go can I climb B? no no I cannot climb B do I just go through here or do I go around the croco on the bottom oh sorry Asna If the humming ends up having a tragic bad reason, I will riot. Don't say that. Don't. Shh, shh. I absolutely don't want that. No, I, I don't. That's not. That's not the reality I live in. You know what? Uh, you couldn't tell who was having you in there. Oh, bless you. Okay, this is... Okay, so I just did a circle here. Great. Oh, I can... I can go up. Oh, yeah, it's a smaria. Um, th stop being Polish. No, not to her, to me. This is... I... It's... It's all Anne's fault, okay? That's... That's... <laughs> I swear to God. All alone on a desolate planet. This is all good. The other woman's voice sounds so familiar, but there's no info in the voice acting. I hope they'll. They, I, I'm, as soon as I finish this game, I'm like, give me all the info on how it was made. I want to learn. I want to soak up the knowledge, please. Please keep on humming, yes, not. It, it heals my soul. It heals my life. This is so nice. Volcanic area. Mm. If this area is volcanically active, ash outbursts and extreme temperature changes may explain the extinction of local fauna and flora. But it's all just too idyllic. There's no dust in the air. The sky is clear and the soil looks like laterite to me. Perhaps not highly fertile, but not entirely barren that's how i describe my brain on some planet such storms last for several hundred days i hope it's not one of them god i hope it's not one of them the the, the next storm is gonna start just as we leave unfortunate really really want to see it oh we're high up oh we're high up oh i'm, gonna... <laughs> I'm fine not a stressful sit at all. I'm just not gonna look. <laughs> oh, Tracker? Nothing nearby, I guess. 
Continue marching towards the camp. Aye, aye, Captain. Thank you. This is very peaceful and nice. Look at a crater. Very nice skybox. Is this the music? Or is this... Is this a part of the soundtrack? Or is... Wait. Oh, I can squeeze through there. Piss. <laughs> I was like, oh, that doesn't look like there's a route through it, but... There is a route through it, and they also made a little pathway for me to go on. No, I'm stuck! I'm not stuck. I'm stuck! I'm not stuck. I'm fine. Duality of a man. Yeah, they, they made me a little pathway to follow, and I just ignored it because context clues, and environmental design. I don't know. Eh? The game designer is trying to lead me into the right direction. No, what is this random little corner? I gotta know. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. A bit dark. Ooh. Uh, actually, I just realized that I changed the, um... I just put us an ultra performance. If it starts being... I just didn't want to interrupt her. That reminded me of that video. I'm alive! I'm dead. I'm watching TV! I'm dead again! <laughs> What's that, Marezia? Also, that song sounds ominous. It does. But it's also very nice. And also, I feel like we're gonna get the, like, the whole proper song in the credits, and I'm gonna be sitting, sitting there whipping, whipping. I'm gonna be whipping! This is, this is the Texas Soviet Republic, actually. Uh... Oh. What's up? Tense! I could already see the camp! Oh, hell yeah! Over 400 meters in a straight line. I see you. Can you hear me? Nope. Oh well. If it catches me, so be it. This suit will hold. God, I hope so. It's an audio people put over their chaotic dogs. I'll put an example in the Discord. Please do. I'm so excited to hear it. <laughs> I'm sure they're fine. Yep, I'm so sure. I'm so sure everything is okay. Get down from here. I have a hook. I could use a hook, right? Vertical <laughs> drop. Down this way. But I can secure the rope. I feel like this would probably be easier. Okay, the ground slopes a little more gently, which doesn't mean it's completely flat. Uh, I'll take the chance. All right. I want to see you as soon as possible. I'll take a chance. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Was less than ideal. You're not hurt. Oh, We're okay. good. I'm so happy. It's fine too. 
I didn't fail right away, thank god. <laughs> It'll be like until dawn finisher if I fail. I don't wonder. It won't be, but I'm. what if it will? I don't think it. I, I don't know. Visibility could be better. Oh, yeah. We entered the realm of the new Blade Runner Maybe movie. Wait. Nope. Jesus. Oh, should I just waited? Wait. Yes, yeah, so now you're just having a panic attack. It's fine. Not just, but we're having a panic attack and we can move on, right? Right? What happened? Where? Wait, are we... What's going on? I was heading to... Yeah? Impossible. I'm much closer to my destination. I must have walked for some time. I... Listen, I'm not gonna... I don't remember it. Did... Did I black out again? We blacked out and we're closer to our goal. I'll take it. Also, I don't know what's happening with the... Yeah, you can see the edging. <laughs> the edging. Uh, you can... Mm. It's a bit... I need to get back to Dragonfly. Send Hopper closer to the camp. Find a place to land. I need to get back to Dragonfly as soon as possible. Go to the infirmary and do a full set of tests on myself. Oh, I need to do that on myself now. And Mass Effect when you're in a big flat area like this, this is when the giant worm things attack. Where's the, where's the dune worm? I'm gonna fist my dad bastard. Uh, is this looking okay? It's just because I... I worry because the textures look wobbly. Should I just... Is DLS gonna be better? We got the last checkpoint. I'm just gonna... Settings. I think it's bothering you more than us. No, it's bothering you very much. You're so upset. Woo, I have never seen you this cross with me. And I just, I can't handle it genuinely. Like, you, you seem like you're about to... Yell! I was stuck in the middle of like, oh, how to make this funny. And then I was like, I, I got thrown back to all the situations when I was chatting with my friends and I'll be like, ha ha ha, this funny thing from my childhood. And then nobody laughs and everybody looks mortified. And I really didn't want to experience this right now. I think I would crumble. <laughs> You're right, I will never know peace. See? Farazia, far, uh, listen, Farazia told me to, you told me to, I had to. I had to just restart it. To make sure it works. <laughs> Particular plot events in the game unlock relevant fragments of the comic book. Oh, the comic book? Oh, it's so pretty too. It's such a like 60s book cover vibe. Comic book. Okay, one sec. Um, 
Let's see the DLS now. The head injury appears to be serious. Yasna blocks out again. <gasps> We're getting comic book bits! Ugh. I love this art style. It's stunning. Right. Yeah, that seems good. That looks good. That looks good. That looks fucking good, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you guys forced me to do it. <laughs> and hop her closer to the camp. Find a place to land. I need to get back to Dragonfly as soon as possible. Can I Go climb? to the infirmary and do a full set of tests on myself. Let me climb. No. Oh. I'm gonna fist fight the dude warm in the car park. Fist fighting the dune warm in a car park of a local Denny is a Lana Durl. <laughs> Ray's new album name, actually. Climb B. Get up! Get up, Yasna! You're doing fantastic! Yep, 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 yep. You are strong. You are perfect. I'm singing. All oh, my legs are heavy. Bill is not in fighting. Maybe last time in a song. Legs become too heavy. Hands become too weary. Down you go. Life's not that scary. I remember you. Regis third satellite. R303 Bastard Oh! Oh! Flashback Is that black coffee? Astrogator, sir, crew Dr. Gorski, right on time Any updates? We have a set of data from the near surface probe Great Is it Mar... Oh my god M Mar now? How's the activity? Zero, zero, zero and two Gorski Less than nothing. Atmosphere? Nitrogen, 78%. Argon, 2%. Carbon dioxide, 0 Methane, 4%. The rest is oxygen. Uh, wait, that's 16%. With oxygen concentration as such, there should be life. At least some microbes. And yet we have detected no traces. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Let's finish with the probe readings first. Air radioactivity? It's virtually zero. In the world of paradise. No endospores, no bacteria, no mold, no viruses, nothing. Just the oxygen. If there were no living organisms on the continent, there shouldn't be this much of it. What if life develops on some other continents here? No, I doubt it. Insulation outside the equatorial zone is weak. You don't see how thick the polar ice caps were, Doctor. I can guarantee a minimum of five miles of ice sheet, potentially six. Mm, that's true. There's more chance of something in the ocean. Some seaweed, algae... But why didn't life migrate to the land? Could be because of hard radiation. Mm, I don't think so. According to the probe readings, the ground activity is exceptionally low for this part of the galaxy. I wonder if some special kind of drought-intolerant evolution occurred here. And that would at least explain some of the abnormalities. Hmm. Anyway, we'll have to take a look under the water. First, it would be good to know what time frame. I am I'm hearing Mark, this whole com the geological analysis. Oh, Mark? That's a bit of too early for mature conclusions, but this planet looks old to me. Such a fossilized what? egg must be at least six billion years old. Besides, the sun has seen better days too. It's almost a week old. Any rare resources, forms, creatures? We can't expect such detailed data, sir. Not from this distance. Yes. We would have to explore the surface. 
Astrogator, what exactly are we looking for? The value of this planet. What? For now, it may seem like the pinnacle of nonsense. But I assure you that Regis Three is not without worth. Yeah, we're all sitting here, but nobody told us about this mission. We're supposed to be in hypersleep. We're supposed respect, to be going Astrogator, go home. I have the impression you're not telling us everything. As always, Dr. Koval, your instincts are correct. Please forgive my reticence. My goal was to maintain unimpeded research neutrality. There is indeed a very important factor of interest in this. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be money, 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 money. The Alliance. Oh. The Alliance? The Alliance? Yeah. What do they have to do with it? Well, they've sent their most powerful unit here. But to our best knowledge, Condor's traversing a distant quadrant. Well, I'm not talking about the Condor. So, the Invincible. Good guess, Doctor. He said the title of the game! Steal Behemoth with the power to produce billions of kilowatts in a split second, converting it into energy fields that no material body can penetrate, concentrating it into destructive rays as hot as stars that can reduce a mountain range to dust or evaporate an ocean, together with its crew of almost a hundred men, professionals that are neither better nor worse than us. Well, I dare to say we're better trained, Astrogator. Uh, they are, however, unquestionable masters of propaganda. I know that some accomplishments they brag about are very much far-fetched, but the capabilities of the Invincible are not subject to doubt. And we as the scientific body should sever ourselves from the emotional and symbolic facade. In other words, we cannot ignore facts just because we don't like them, Mr. Cole. All right, but where do we stand in all this? together with our, may I say, not quite as numerous staff. Despite our modest forces, we still have a chance to gain a critical advantage over the Alliance while avoiding confrontation. Okay, uh, and how would we do that? Simple. We leave this planet before the Invincible arrives here. Which is when, exactly? Well, they're still far away. <sighs> Astrogator, please, how much time do we have to conduct safe research? 13 days. Ooh. There's no time to lose, then. I appreciate your eagerness, Cole. Dr. Crowther, do we need full gear? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Also, I caution you against taking off the for a prolonged duration. Oh. The smell of methane is not neutral. Breathing the local atmosphere will lead to saturation drop. And you may start showing symptoms of mild brain damage. Feel stupefied. But uh, don't worry. Oh, no, the fumes. An hour or even a couple of hours. Oh, cool. Nice. So we can just breathe in the worst case a little bit. Marit, Krauto, please prepare for the surface. What about Kendall, me? You two. You're leaving early in the morning. Oh. And what about me? You're staying on board, Doctor. Oh. But Astrogator. Uh, this is not up for debate. I need you here. As you well know, there's not much work to do for a biologist on Regis 3, if any. Was ordered to stay. Why? What the hell am I doing here? Huh. No, wait, I won't I won't get up. Um I won't get up. I'll stay seated. So we are on Regis Three? Regis six. Regis six. Um sorry, I have three on my screen. And we're supposed to conduct research before alliance which i'm gonna guess we're like we could we're the cool scientist dudes and alliance are the mercenaries maybe for it or like a bigger guild space something so that's not great i yasna stayed on the ship but now we're on the planet so we went to look for the rest of the peeps that stayed on the planet because we came in we came down in two probes uh, not two probes, two ships. So that's why she said that it's um, it's unusual that there were two dispatches onto the planet. I don't know what Novik is up to, but I think Koval, Koval was the one who was next to us who said like, oh, I'm not sure you're trading something. So he's not giving us all the info. I feel like he, he gave us a nugget of info while we're there. It has to be something to do. It has to be something to do with Mula, right? Well, I, I mean, I don't know. If we're if we're a cool group of scientists, we're more here maybe for preservation of information rather to, to see that 
the war- I don't know. I don't know. I'm just thinking. Sorry, I I'm spitballing. Talk to me. Tell me. Um... And... Not- not Koval, but the guy in the middle. The one who was telling us about the atmosphere being breathable for a couple hours, but if- After an hour or a couple of hours, if we get stupefied. Love his look. Love the uh, love the glasses. Love the square glasses with the yellow film on them. His his stash, very sixties, very sixties look. I like it. He looks fantastic. Hi, Mister Mystery. Oh, okay, let's get up. Let's get up. Let's get up. <laughs> yes, no. I don't really understand what the Alliance truly is. My brain keeps on defaulting to Star Trek, which is a different situation. I don't know what the Alliance is in Star Trek, so that doesn't help me. <laughs> Sorry, that doesn't confuse me further. Thankfully? Yeah. <laughs> I think we're not meant to know what the Alliance is. the beginning of the game, so I don't think they would, um... <sighs> yeah. I, the, 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 I feel like we're not given, obviously, all the information at the beginning of the game. Just the mystery. Build the mystery. But I would say that maybe the Astrogator pushed them past the 13 days and the Alliance got here. Oh, maybe. Now, oh, God race. Look at the God race. Oh, trucker. Oh, thank goodness. Not everyone's in the field. Okay, so there's two little dots there. Ranyasna, you'll find your friends. I swear. Yasna. Yasna. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anyone out there? Baby! Oh, it's just an Androbot. Baby! I love you. I would Andro like to hold you. Andro Androbot? Stop! Can you... Buddy! Androbot, stop! Buddy! What the... <sighs> Korski, did you reconfigure uh, this? Have you made changes to the Androbot's algorithms? <laughs> Without telling anyone. <laughs> Again. Great. Oh, uh, well. Never mind. I want to hold you. I want to hold your hand tenderly. I want to tell you what a good boy you are. I love him. This is my best friend. This guy? I love him. He's so cute. He's called RT. Ugh. I'm fine. Let me hold your hand, baby. Commonwealth Industries. Look, look into my eyes. See how much I love you. Oh, uh, maybe if I... RT? Default position. That's, that's what he's gonna do. Just what's wrong with you, buddy, pose. You clearly don't want to cooperate. Oh, buddy. Oh. I already found somebody. Dr. Crowther, didn't you hear me earlier? Oh no. Doctor, is everything all right? Oh no, he's been huffing the air. He's been absolutely huffing the air. Doctor, please, look at me. I report that I've located Dr. Crowther. He's in bad shape. I'm going to examine him now. Dr. Crowther. I, this is a horrifying situation for, for us and for you, especially Dr. Crowther. But I really I am appreciating the design of the suits. I really like it. And I, I just I retrofuturism is kind of, you know, my 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 bread and butter, <laughs> if I can say so myself. And having a closer look at the suit is very nice. I'm sorry. I feel like a weirdo, but this is such a good suit. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Can 
you hear me? Oh! That's Trigator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours now. <laughs> the receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. Glad you didn't lose your head. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. Oh. Testing one, two, three. Ah, copy the doctor. Loud and clear. We replaced the cable. We didn't replace the internal guts. And he's not well. Okay. I was just about to examine him. I still liked it. Please don't be startled. I need to take your hand. Uh gonna check the vitals. Temperature normal. Pulse two. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. Yes, I would be freaking the fuck out if I was in your situation. You're doing great. His pupils respond properly. <laughs> my finger. No delay in reactions. Yet no response to verbal communication. None. Conclusions, doctor. Mm. Maybe gas poisoning? Up until yesterday, he wasn't suffering from any because mental disorders. Breathing the air in the spot, right? But stupefy. So I test his blood for toxins. Could it be the methane from the atmosphere? No. Methane poisoning causes oh. different symptoms. I'm afraid it's something else. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, the land I uh, he, needs to get you all on board. he needs to be evacuated. Just evacuate him right away. So with that, I would have sent the hopper long ago. Please look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find, and you still need to designate a place for the. Oh, okay. Great. Can I? Such a nice backpack as well. I love our suits. So sleek. The piping on the sleeve, also very nice. I like it. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I we'll we'll figure it out. Don't be don't be afraid. It's all okay. Hello. A anyone else here? I found Dr. Crowther. That's a weird placement of the windows. I love it. There's also the reflection of the circles on the opposite, and because they're not symmetrical, it's like, I like, this is nice. This is, this is nice. I hope the humming isn't something similar to his mumbling. Zalea. I wouldn't have thought of it. And now that you said it, Molecular physics. Stefan Ho Hovinsky. Hoin or Stefan Hovinsky. I love that design of the ship. The oh, Dr. Crowther. Sorry, I love the design of the catch of the ship. Dr. Crowther kept records. Meticulous as always. What? I can't out of it. It's like, what? I'm reading. Initial analysis of the samples revealed nickel, iron, manga, <laughs> Mang manganese, beryllium, and titanium in the composition. I would give a lot to understand what it actually is. Quick theory. A giant nickel iron meteor splashed into the atmosphere or Regis free, melting its surface millions of years ago. No, wait, scratch that. The shape of the structures contradicts it. <laughs> Love that. Oh, also the Federation Alliance in Star Trek is more or less a unified group of planets and people. Uh, humans, Klingons, Vulcans, other aliens with the goal of keeping peace. Oh. From what Novik is saying, the guy in our ear, I don't know if it's a... I, I don't know if it's that. 
but also not because I'm kind of dodgy. But then again, nobody else reacted well to the alliance in our group. So. We'll see. Tinder. What's in there? Uh, oh, I read it. Sorry, I read it. Gorski? Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. He followed those deposits of metal. Oh. Structures. Potential landing place. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. BA2316. Noting. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Cool. Cool. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. This detector? With another fucking Good. brilliant Please design? Sure it works. What for? I don't understand why it wouldn't. It's a rather reliable piece of equipment. Like everything around, it's already broke. Okay. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. Oh. But, uh, can we just leave him like that? Where's my baby? All right. Now for the robot. It's yes. Unresponsive. Yes, I know. I'm currently trying to establish a connection. Can I help somehow? You must look for the other's doctor. I'll but, take care of this myself. But it'll be faster if I help. Head back on its feet remotely and secure Crowther. You don't know if it'll I truly work I if Just... I won't... Are there any issues, sir? There's <laughs> something wrong with the connection, sir. It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Hmm. Yasna, what are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. What about the rest of the crew? You gonna make them wait? I'm not leaving Crowther alone like this. If the Androbot isn't working properly, I can't just leave Crowther like this. It's also gonna be faster if I actually... Fish. Fascinating. Did you find anything, Doctor? Nice specimen. Oh, it's still alive. Ah, the fish Doctor Gorski caught. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Something. Oh, we're getting flashbacks. Oh. Dragonfly, come in. Uh, hello, Regis. Dragonfly here. Oh, this Doctor is... Yasna at the radio. And Novik, is his leg still bothering him? Yes. Come He's on. been resting in his quarters. We're setting up on the shoreline. It's late, but we still have time to examine the ocean floor. Uh, Gorski is preparing the probe for launch. We'll start research soon. Oh, and um, one more thing, Yasna. Yes? It's beautiful here. The ocean, wind, sand. My suit is pinching and cramping just at the mere sight. <laughs> <laughs> Should I include this in my reports? I'm serious. I don't know about you, but over the years I've learned to hate it, boys. We do everything to go further, see more, take mankind one step closer to omnipotence, and then we can't even take a walk on land. As if enjoying everything that's around us was almost a... I understand how you feel, Koval. After all these years, I miss home too. Is it that obvious? come across as, well, erudite, but at the end of the day, it's simple bombing that speaks for me. Well, a little obvious. We have to examine the composition of the ocean, but the... Collect the mineral samples. Yes, that's right. Do you want to do the honors? Gladly. Oh, Crowton Marit. Probe in the water. I'm switching to manual. Oh. Distance, 100. No, Koval is just all separate from them. 300. Oh,
Oh! Oh, that's when they found the fish when they got dead. Okay, that's why we have the flashback to it. Oh? Is that, um. Paul <laughs> My cheat sheet. Yeah. Hovel's running up. What are they doing? They're moving away from us. From us? I don't realize an artificial robotic gizmo. Right from the pool. As soon as I swim it closer to them, do you see what happens? Is this normal, Yasna? Hmm. What do you think? Fish shouldn't be afraid of machines. It's hard to speak of normality here, but animals are usually not afraid of equipment or, or anything they haven't seen before. Are you saying they already seen probes. I've no idea, mm. but their behavior suggests some sort mm. of defense mechanism. Catch at least one for examination, then I'll be able to say more. Come here. That is one more time. True. There's what did you do? I had to electrocute him. Wouldn't have caught it otherwise. I'm taking the specimen ashore. Oh? That's a fine one. There'll be plenty to dissect, Yasna. Great. Take it apart. See what's inside. Maybe that's why she went down to the planet, because she's a biologist, right? That's true. But it seems like she was more sent because everybody disappeared. Or, like, at least... Now he's saying, oh, we have to find the crew, so something happened. But maybe the initial reason was in order to examine the fish closer but the thing that she said is like animals or fish shouldn't be afraid of equipment it's true because they did the um the documentary about i, I really it's it's a weird reference but there was this documentary uh where they hid cameras amongst different uh animal species but they made them look they were still cameras they were still robots but they were like animatronic animal, uh, like a monkey or a fish or something. I think there was a, a, not a blow, I think there was a blowfish episode. And they're very, very interesting, but they're not afraid of it. So something on this planet, there was an event significant enough that the life form are reacting negatively to the equipment. So something robotic? Oh, I saw something like that with a camera looking like a penguin. Yes! I think that's the one. It's really cool. Also, hi, Cabbage. How's it going? Um, now she has to find him, but I think she might have been sent once they discovered there's actually a life. That is true. The plot thickens. It does. This is so exciting. I love this game. Also, it's, it's extremely well written. I I, I I just don't want to talk over the dialogue because I'm like, we got to experience this together. It's incredible. It's very exciting. Uh, I don't think it's here. Oh, I see something there. Broken relay. Not bad news. Our signal is far too weak to restart the Androbot. Relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely fried. I don't think a sandstorm could cause such damage. Well, that's irrelevant now, Doctor. There must be a spare somewhere in the camp. Please search for it. Spare relays. Can I can I walk through here? Yep. In the box. <sighs> no luck. Oh, they're not in here. Well, I'll close it. I love the inside of the box, the padding. So cute. The designs for everything are so nice. Everything feels real. Everything feels usable. And it's also because I think partially because of the retro sci-fi rules, nothing feels too busy. I feel like a lot of the modern sci-fi stuff, you will it's just a lot of too many greebles sometimes. You need just right amount of greebles and stuff. And ah, oh it's stunning. It's stunning. It all looks real and tangible. Yes! A relay. Piss. Not here either.
Box number three. I have the extra relay. Excellent. The signal should be back as soon as it's turned on. What? Oh. What's happening, uh, baby? Systems. That should help. Good, good. It's receiving instructions. Oof. I don't know if the Androbot should already be doing something. Is it still frozen? Mm -hmm. Yes, unfortunately. <sighs> the positronic brain has correct readings. Receptors. Hmm. Give him a look, yes. Should be walking now. Does he? His positional data hasn't changed. Oh, he's trying. <laughs> well, you can see that he really wants to go, but still can't. Uh, please check his legs. Hmm. Could be the server motor. Ah, <laughs> so that's it. He's a... <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. I won't hold you any longer. Go find the others while I finish here. Okay. And that's an order. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. <laughs> He's so talented. I love him so much. Ah. Oh. A marvel. Look at him tap dance. He is. Modern sci-fi also. Uh, also is a lot of screens, not uh, much of actual physical stuff. Yes, like it's all touch screens, giving me buttons and levers and stuff. Yes, tangible, touchable, good. Good sleek design is what I need in my life. It's a high vanilla sky. How's it going? Oh, he's so talented. Right. Um. Uh, do I go to the left? Oh, I can look at the previous stuff. Okay. Yes, now focus. What now? Oh, F. So F is no wait G, G. R is the metal thing. Oh, what's this? Oi. Wait, what? No. No point in going back this way. Yeah, that's fine. Did we black out or was it just a transition? I, I think it was just a transition. I got I, I had a moment of oh. I think maybe it was sleek, but my computer has um maybe my computer's processing power didn't work fast enough for it to be like a hoop, so I had to pause for a second. It's going fine, I guess. Way too much uni work. Oh, I'm so sorry. Good luck! You're gonna do great! Um, how's the game? It's so fucking good. It's stunning. It's well written. It's Polish! The three signs of greatness. Uh, tab. Mm. Okay, Gorski is gonna go... It's gonna be in that way. I think I can go around there as well, so it's not a biggie if I don't. But I should move. I found the area marked by Doctor Crowther. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Sure. Solid ground, a large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be fifty meters? Uh, do you want me to get my measuring tape up? Because I don't know. Air accessibility is paramount. Yes, it's relatively clean. You can send Hopper, sir. Oh.
Oh, I see a flag. Oh, damn. I seem to have gone too far. I can see the filled markings that Dr. Gorski left behind, and I haven't found anyone yet. They all may have left the area as well. But before you move on, make sure to check the whole perimeter. As long as I'm here, let's see if I can spot someone in the distance. Mm, right. Lemon. Let's go. Z? Anything interesting? It's not letting me pull it up. Oh, it is letting me pull it up now. Unfortunately, no. I'm going back. Oh, zoom. What's that flag? Uh, unequipped. Jumpies? Nope. I gotta go back the regular way. Go on, Yasna. Put some beans into it. <laughs> Let's run. Ah, uh, the fact that I'm getting the um the st that my helmet is steaming up because I'm running. Fun, fun, fun. Um, I don't see any people in here. I'm still here, if you're wondering, sir. <laughs> it all just takes longer than ex I'm entering the research. No, area. I interrupted her. Tracker. Silent. Oh. By the way, what did they find here? Oh right, you don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. Mm. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up. The artifact. to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source to find some end. Uh, an end? Got someone. I'm following the signal. Oh, thank God. I just want them to be okay. It, there's something on the ground. Yeah, I can see it. Unknown object. It's a journal. Is it um merit or a coval? Geological cross section measurements. These are merits notes. Merits, yeah. We well, must focus on both water chemistry testing and geological drilling. <gasps> she must be somewhere close. Please search the entire area thoroughly. I hope she's okay. Three things you cannot outrun. Debt, taxes, and me. God, Graves was so good in Modern Warfare 3. See, I'm gonna focus on just that. Graves was just the absolute S tier. Layers of sedimentary clay intersped with blackish red substance not geological not planetary millions of years old at least oh no 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 go back go back uh cosmos solidary alliance interplanetary commonwealth headquarters space division solar system Dear Dr. Marit, this is in response to the latest interplanetary conference. We would like to offer you a promotion in the future expedition obelisk? Obelisk? I'm gonna say obelisk. As an astrogator. So what Novik is doing right now. Your skills and overall performance in previous mission proved to us your readiness to take the next step in the space journey. We would be delighted to receive your response as soon as you are back from your current mission. Sincerely, General per General Pixard, Commanding Officer, Space Division. Space Division. I really wonder where in 13 days we are at. Genuinely. They done quite a bit of research, right? So... I finished one sippy cup. It's time for sippy cup number two. You know what they say? Rule number three, stay hydrated. 
Slow sips. Slow sips. Oh, right. I think I know where I can find her. Okay, we gotta climb these. Wait, what? My brain went step onto it to get blown up. And I was like, this isn't the type of video game. This isn't. <laughs> this isn't rain, man. I need to, I need to focus. How would I climb there? It's here. Oh, the structure. I can see the structure. I'm in the right place. Understood. Please continue. Oh, there seems to be a thing there that I can go over. <laughs> Those bones are moist. <laughs> climb bees, yes, no climb bees. A backpack. The signal's coming from a castle backpack. Path Ah. I'm close, but I can't see her. Oh, Marit! She's here! I found her! Marit, wake up! Wake up! Do you hear me? Dr. Marit? No. No Space vital here. functions. What can I need two. One. Two. Yes. Three. Come on. Yes. Everything will be fine. All fine. Oh, we're... It's like closing the eyes. Shit! Cover's next. I don't want to yes. leave her body. Should be close. Hiss! Ah. Uh. Right, so people can't people can't and will die in this game. Great, wonderful. This is great. This is so good. This is definitely a turning point in my expectations, and I don't like it. <sighs> I know it's not the moment, but I really like the detail of wearing her pants on the inside of her tights. Yeah, that's nice. That's a good detail to have. Oh God. Yes, shit. Don't like it. And the, the music and the fact that Yasna's voice performance in that moment made me feel really upset. <laughs> Great. God, okay. This doesn't seem like a place I should be at. Do you think... Oh, Jesus. You'll find it, Doctor. Alive. I'm sure about that. Someone's here. Okay, 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 okay. Go, 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 go. Maybe if I sprint. Oh no. Yes, do, 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 do,
Don't do this to me. Oh. You're alive. Oh, thank fuck. Did you hear that, sir? Cobbled alive. I didn't doubt it for a second, Doctor. What's his current state? Checking. Parameters normal, yet he's completely unresponsive. Kovel? Kovel? His eyes are so empty. Just like Crouch's. Kovel, what the hell is wrong with you? Are all the symptoms the same as Dr. Crouch's? Oh, he has he's a calm. bunch of notebook pages calm. on him. Well, at least he's alive. Now listen to me, Asna. The lander is on its way, but before you get Dr. Kovel on board, I want you to do something. Yasna. I'm listening. Please look around for his journal. Well, I don't have to look around. It's everywhere. In pieces. <sighs> Not good. Kovel was in radio contact with Dr. Gorski. Taking notes. That's exactly why it's so important. These notes may help us find our man. Right. I'll go over them. But it may take a while. Huh. There's life on this planet after all. Yasna will be so happy. Nothing about Dr. Gorski. He drew a little picture of Yasna in the corner dissecting the fish. Uh. <sighs> oh, the fact that I know people can do that in this game now! That's somebody who seems to be. Like Merit it was a um Merit or Marit Marit, who was a seemed like a mentor to Yasna and the way they interacted. Died now and now Koval is unresponsive. And we had that little throwback of him talking directly to her and them understanding each other. I know that it's a multiple choices thing, but the way the way the choices I've got with Yasna so far just shows you that the relationships they had was strong and significant and it's it's worrisome and also the fact that it's not the atmosphere that did this to them from what they were saying it's it's very concerning right uh, found them surprisingly accurate he wrote down Gorski's every step great Let's get Koval to the evacuation area. The structures, the structures branch underground. G checks the right branch. Massive vertical exhibit. It protrudes above the surface. Water tank. Underground structures. The biggest one yet. Inside hill, 150 meters. Flood. Visible from point four. Azimuth, 350. Distance, 200. Can you carry him, Doctor? <laughs> Won't be pretty hard in 1G, but the gravity here should make things a tad easier. Up you go, buddy. Got him. Yasna is jacked, absolutely jacked. It's not the 1G. Yasna is so strong, mentally and physically, because I would be fucking yeah, crying now. <laughs> Have a look, you're going home! Cobble, look over there. You'll be on Dragonfly in a moment. <laughs> Safe and sound. <sighs> Safe. Did he react? Not at all. Oh. Yes. Ah. <sighs> This planet just fucking hates us. Let's get away. There's not much on this planet. Primitive life forms in the ocean, metal deposits in the ground. Although the latter got Dr. Gorski's interest. Oh, Gorski's the rubber bubble. I think it's some kind of anomaly. It's crazy how everything's falling apart here. Um, no. I don't know. 
Maybe we're dealing with some kind of anomaly. An atmospheric or magnetic phenomenon. Uh, wouldn't something like that show on the charts? All those measurements Gorski took. Mm. Maybe he made a mistake. Oh, the wibble the wobble is from the steam. Okay. Hey, baby. Okay. <laughs> I'll talk to him, buddy. It's all... It's... You're safe. Not sound, but safe. Up there. Only Gorski's left. Oh, he God. might have made it quite far. Agreed. Everything points to it. I don't know how long I'll be looking for him. It might take hours before I come back. We also don't know Gorski's condition. Nor what he's going through. I have to go back for Marit, I think. Go back for Marit's body first. Take her to the lander. But Yasna, Dr. Marit is already gone. What if we also lose Gorski? I've made up my mind, Astrogator. I can't leave her like this. Fuck. Uh, it's, it seemed like the right thing to do for Yasna in this moment, especially like considering the mentor relationship they seem to have between Mara. Um, really upsetting because now I realize I will have to carry Mara's body all the way and I will, I'm fine emotionally well. Uh. Oh yeah, it's around there. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to just leave right there. It doesn't seem right. Status? Nothing's changed, Astrocator. Understood. Oh, piss. Oh, she's there. Okay, I was like, <laughs> what if she disappeared? This would be fucking terrifying. Oh, Mara. How do you think, sir? I'm managing. Somehow. I don't know how. But I need to know if you're ready to continue your mission. <laughs> ready? I don't think we have much choice in the matter. There's only one way forward. Straightforward and stern. In this moment, I, I. That's fucking shitty. God damn it. I hate how it says take the body, not take Mara. For over two decades, oh. made of sterner stuff. The sternest. Many of us relied on her. I did. She was going to be an astrogator. Did you know that headquarters offered her a promotion? She would have been the first female astrogator in the history of the Commonwealth. I had no idea. Doesn't matter anymore, really. Not entirely. Mara will be awarded posthumously. Great. I'm taking a bit your word, Astrogator. No! This could pave the way for others. And that's what she would have cared about the most. No doubt about it. That's true. I I didn't mean to... I think the second option was better for her to go basically like... It, I don't want to talk about her right now. That feels more in character for Yasna in the moment. I think the way I am thinking of Yasna's character, that feels more accurate. But uh, the first one was... A nice one? I just don't think it's... Yeah, I guess if Mara would have cared about people being inspired. Hmm. Just blows, man. Sorry, guys, you're gonna... Oh. Please take good care of her. Of course. Dr. Gorsk is next. Let's hope he got out of danger in time. It would be good to know what kind of danger we're talking about. Ah, oh, piss. Right. Which way? Which way? Wait, which way? 
She okay, she could have put her in the other seat. She could have just put it in between them. It's like Ah The writing is so good. It is our Yasna. Oh my god, it is our Yasna. This is our characterization of Yasna, the choices we make. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I, why, as much as I'm like, I'm so sad about the, the whole situation with Martin, you should, yes, I didn't have to put her in between the two dudes. Ah, <laughs> uh, not that they, I guess, did not that they know what's going on right now. Uh, Gorski, Gorski. Oh, so we're going back Something over there. What's new? Well, nothing really. At least not in the last five seconds, huh? Right. Thank you. Sass. Sass him out, Yasna. Sass him out. <sighs> not in the last five seconds, sir. Yeah, Yasna. You tell him. I'm leaving the excavation site. Oh, we're going for Gorski now. How did he come down? Whoop. Whoopsie daisy. <coughs> Ew, whoopsie daisy. Huh. I've got Gorski's signal. Run. So run, run, run. It's unlikely to be him. Then who? All right. Uh, not who. Oh. Correct, sir. It's just our probe. It looks inactive. Oh, Can't baby. Be completely broken if you picked up a signal. I'd say it's running in safe mode. Please try to power it on. Do we have time for this? It's for a good reason, Doctor. All right. Probe could prove useful in the search. And That's aside, true. That's true. You'll see. That's why we repaired the robot as well. So, also, his uh, the way that he's sitting in there, just. Uh, his face looks like he's going like this. There's an eye. This is a mouth and nose and going, oh, oh, I like him. He's so cute. Oh, it's not hygienic to put Mart in between them. I don't know. Maybe it's, she's in a closed system right now because of the suits, I'd assume. Look at this little guy going, oh. Pretty angel. Oh, oh, push in and open like we were putting petrol in. Everything feels right in this game. Everything feels fucking right. 10 out of 10. Somebody needs to change the nominees for the game of the year. I'm sorry, I'm thinking. I'm sorry, Novik. Can you. Nothing new in the last five seconds, sir. Turning the systems on. No, no, stop. Wait for my instructions. There's a button on the left side of the fuse box. Okay. Hold it and then turn the dial again. All right. And go ahead. Slide records. Correct. I, I didn't know we had access to them. You couldn't have known. This is not standard procedure. But as they say, extremis malice, extrema remedia. Let's take a look. Uh huh. Did everyone cast their votes for Game Awards? I can vote? <laughs> I can vote? I have choice? Can you vote for Game Awards? You can? Oh, piss! Right. I guess we gotta do that. We can do that on stream, please. <laughs> I need I need to complete my choices. The public is ten percent of the votes. Okay. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do that. Plus, due to it being in space, I don't think bodies decompose. Don't quote, quote me on that. Now we're gonna find some information. Still sad that Final Fantasy 16 isn't nominated for Game of the Year. I still haven't played it. I haven't played Final Fantasy 15 either. I'm so behind. I I, <laughs> I love Final Fantasy. Um, 
do bodies decompose in space? I mean, the atmosphere of this planet seems pretty alright for us. Yeah, okay. The answer is that no, a body exposed to the vacuum of space wouldn't decay in the way that bodies decay on Earth. In fact, in outer space, you'd end up being preserved quite nicely. One important factor is that a body in space would dry out really quick. But it's also like we're not in the vacuum of space. We are on a planet with an uh, atmosphere that is... Uh, atmosphere that is okay for us to breathe for m multiple of hours. Then you get brain damage. But I would assume the decomposition process would probably... I don't know. Oh, I did not think of that. They are in a planet with oxygen, though. Yep, 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 yep. I hope they get soundtrack so can deserves it. Final Fantasy. Get, get him. We'll get him. We'll, we'll 10% of the vote. 10% of the vote. <laughs> My game of the year for 2023, I think, is um, Sludge Life 2. I loved Sludge Life 2 a lot. Fishies! Oh, oh! look at him! That's the beginning of the mission. So of the first days on the surface, they started exploring the littoral zone almost immediately. They reported as much. Wasn't until the fourth day the comms failed. Oh, the, the excavations. I recognize these structures. This is where they began to dig. This is where we found Mara. I mean, near where we found Mara. Exit. 12 hours passed. Three crew members are still there. Dr. Gorski must have left already. We lost contact shortly thereafter. Oh, wait. I was like... <laughs> Next. Oh? The probe followed him, and he followed the detector's readings. Going after those metal structures. Yes. That's what I meant. What's next? Dark? Not noise. Slide. There's mostly noise. Nothing in particular stands out to you, Doctor. They were digging and suddenly, poof, people are dead. No need to shout, Yeah, Astrogator. come on, man. I'm just letting you know what I see. That's all. Uh, hang on. <sighs> An absurdly high electromagnetic field reading. That's something. Sort of. What are mm. the earlier readings? Checking. Still high in the slide just before. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then there are 004. Yeah, quite normal. That's... So just rapidly risen, the ele electromagnetic reading did. And all of them have zero then. The fish have 001. Weird. Okay. I think I need to come back to the <laughs> last one. It happened in a matter of seconds. Mm. But there's there's nothing except dunes. Sand, a few rocks, a shadow. Shadow? Another sandstorm, mm. I guess. All right, Doctor. Let's move on. That's an ominous ass looking shadow. Now. We'll take the probe with us. Oh, baby! Baby! Now I can give commands to the probe. <laughs> and what do you see? Hey, baby. Is it working correctly? It still seems damaged. It's only going. It's not flying very smoothly. I guess it's still a bit broken. Meaning? How? It moves only in a straight line, just up and down, then sideways. No complex moves. Ah, 
Don't worry about that. It's because I'm controlling it manually. I'll put it in auto mode. From now on, it will follow you, Doctor. Now the, now the controls are fucking shit. Great. Oh, it'd be nice to have some company. I mean, apart from yours, sir. One second. Oh, that's odd. There's no data in the probe's memory. Oh. No ID, no nothing. Do you want to give it a new ID? Name it, basically. After all, it'll be with you for a while. I get so, to name it. What's it going to be? Why not? I'll pick a name. <laughs> a name for the teleprobe. All right. I can think of something. Copy that. I'm listening. Maybe B or better Bolly Luna, since it orbits around me. Enter Luna. L U. My roommate did the ask the B Luna for the probe, and that's my cat's name, so it's Luna. You'll have a flying measurement center at your disposal. Hey baby, Luna. No, don't go away. Luna, Luna. Come here. Let me touch you, Luna, baby. You little baby. Little baby. Right, this is a serious stitch. Mm. Oh, wait, no. I'm going in the wrong direction on my... <sighs> Can I go down here? Nope. Let's keep on going. Oh, God. <sighs> this mission drags on so much. <gasps> Sometimes I think you're going to take off without me, sir. <laughs> Don't count on it, Doctor. <sighs> I'm not going anywhere. I fucking love Yasna. <laughs> It's just... I don't see these metal structures anywhere. The only surface structure report. The detector's measurement is very clear. I'm going straight on. No crossroads? Branches? Not yet. Just one thick, tangled vein. One thick, tangled vein, huh? Baby. Wait, what? Ooh. Right. I need to pee. <laughs> I was like... My, my bladder is telling me, man, dude, please. I beg of you. Just, just move. Uh, so I'm gonna go pee. I'm gonna get uh, a, another tea, maybe. Um... The guy talking kind of sounds like Paul Bettany. He kind of does, yeah. I get what you mean. Off topic, did you have a chance to check out The Killer yet? I haven't watched it yet. It's um, it's because me and Ash were sitting down and then we realized that the new season of What We Do in the Shadows is on Disney+, Plus, so we started watching that. And it's really funny. I really am enjoying the new season quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, I haven't checked it out yet. I do want to watch it. I will watch it. I just need to be in the right mood. Uh, right, okay. Everybody remember rule number three, hydrate. So we're all gonna go hydrate and then we meet up in five minutes. See you in a sec.
Why is the game capture not working now? One second. It works! Also, hello, I'm back. I am my husband Toast. And I also these are if you have if you have eggy tummy, these are quite good. Just any like baby biscuits. They are expensive though, so don't don't really. I need to learn how to make them, but they are very very good. I'm sorry, I swear I didn't come back here to just eat biscuits, but I haven't had dindins, so this is important. They're very nice. Strawberry and apple, oat and bicky. It's excuse me. Right. Luna, Luna, Luna. My little baby. <sighs> My legs feel really heavy. Give yourself a moment to rest, Doctor. You certainly deserve it. There's no time. Oh, there's some volcanic kind of opening in there. Some lava flowing in, creating steam. Very nice. Very cool. Journey to the center of the air vibes. Whom's knows? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, this way. Right? Alright, we'll find Gorski eventually. This cave is getting smaller. Where am, am I going in circles? One step at a time, yes. Kind of feels like we're going in One circles step at here. A time. Yep. Let me go back. Let me have a biscuit. Here, maybe? Oh, bless Luna being absolute angel. It is nice to have somebody with me. No? No? Time seems to be slipping through my fingers like sand. So much sand. You so tired, Jasna. Because I am tired, Astrogator. Yeah. Upset. Well, yes, not baby. Oh, it's a probe. Okay. Can I climb here? Hello, Ari! Ari! So it's always impressive to me when people have like uh, a name, a Twitch name. Very impressive. How are you doing? Hmm. Hi, Luna.
Nope, no, that, no, that. Yes, no, baby. So I can't climb through here. Although the way it's lit, it's very nice and it's very tempting to me. Uh, do I think the rocks are gonna be announced that there's gonna be a GTA 6 trail in December? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Hopefully. We'll see. Whoa, hey. Easy there. Baby. I just wanna I just wanna hold. I wanna I wanna hold Luna and hold her close and be like, you baby. Widow baby. That's how I'm feeling inside. You found your channel to a Modern Warfare free reaction video? Oh wild. And caught me live. Aw, bless you. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and saying hi. I appreciate it. We hope you're having a nice day. Yes, Nina needs to be made astrogator after all this, after dealing with all this. Yes, I need to get that promotion. That's what Marit would have wanted. Can we walk through here? This is so cool. That is so, so, so cool. Oh, I could have just jumped through. Uh, yes, I came very close to extremely hot lava as the oh, achievement I got. Traversing this planet. I'm becoming more and more convinced that what I know is not the same as what exists. What can exist. I must admit it's an interesting thought. But quite disturbing. I existential. This uh, looking at this just makes me think, uh, think of the sign um, to journey of the center of the earth. At Tokyo Disneyland is when you come in, there's a sign that says journey to the center of the air for the ride and it's just all lava flowing through the sign. It looks, it's really cool. It's very, very cool. The whole Jules Verne area is so beautiful in Tokyo Disneyland. Oh. It's not, it made me feel happy. I really, that that was just a little moment of a uh, heartwarming levity that I have provided myself after the trauma that Yasna had to endure so far. And it's just the beginning. I have a feeling we're in the dark. We have to find a way. Agreed, you should move on. Uh, that's not quite what I meant, <laughs> but yeah, I probably should. Yasna's voice is sounding very... ...light and like, like she's ready to just take a little nappy nap, which in all fairness, she deserves a little nappy nap, but it is concerning me right now. You mean like there's actually going to be a GTA 6 trailer in December? Oh, that's good for them. I'm I'm glad I know I know nothing about the info if I'm quite honest. I'm not I, I haven't played a lot of GTA. I like the first GTA the best because I played it on my Pegasus in Poland. She's so calm, it does sound like she's gonna pass out, it does, and I am very worried. Water was mentioned in the note around the third point, and I have a matching object here. Alright. So how many are left? Uh, two points. Or at least that's what he told Cobble. What he did next? It's hard to assess. The battery in the detector lasts for only a few hours, so he couldn't have gone much further. Can I... please? No? Please? No? Please? No? Okay. Races of shoes. Okay, yes, now it's gonna be okay. Don't pass out. Okay, please. I am worried about you. And I love you very, very dearly. And this looks very, very pretty. Meow. Meow. It just is. It's cute. Sorry, I love Luna a lot. She did a little brown. And uh, just, you know what? I'm healed. I am healed. I thought I was truly healed before, but no. That was the last bit I needed. Mm -hmm. 
No, your legs are not heavy. Your legs are not heavy, yes, no. Nice, it's pretty, but it's also it's also stressful to be here. What's the rush? Um, Who that, that was for the probe. Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh yes, that is perfect. I love her. Uh, GTA would be a good series to play, Tracy. So you're nearly done, like COD kinda. I. Uh, Listen, I was so hopeful whenever I'm like starting a series that I'm like, I'm gonna get it all done. Like, I'm gonna play through all of them. And then I run out of steam. So what I'm giving myself is um ability to play whatever I want, whenever I want, <laughs> basically. But I do want to do Borderlands. I really want to finish pre-sequel. The only thing about pre-sequel, it's been really sad. And there's been very little levity in it, in the main story. And yeah, I think I was just, I think after last stream we did, I was just sitting there like, oh my God, what have I done? <laughs> and so that's something I expected from Borderlands. It doesn't mean I didn't enjoy it. I want to finish it. Oh, sorry, I just have, um, oh wait, no, I can't hold it with two hands. No, but it's so warm and so cold and so nice. I'm gonna hold it off camera. Oh, so warm. I just have some chamomile tea. I think I'm looking forward to the Baldur's Gate free stream the most. That's it, it is gonna be just a couple hundred hours of me sitting in darkness going <laughs> occasionally. Mark my words. <laughs> oh right. Oh, baby. Hello, little one. Luna. Oh, a structure. The probe detected something. I see that in the readings. What is it exactly? Hey, Luna. Luna. Metal structure. That is very weird baby hmm. whoa hey easy there i, I oh, listen yes now we stood in front of luna it wasn't luna's fault oh wait you okay baby Wait, what? Do I need to click something? Something popped up there and like a little circle. What's the rush? Um, uh, that was for the probe. Excuse me. Wait, do I just keep on going? Circle keeps them popping up. The structure from the notes. Ah, oh, finally. It's a description perfectly. Well done, Luna. I knew I could count on you. Well, we didn't bring it to the surface for no reason. Even in the first stage procedure. And now I'm going to apply for my own. Oh. As soon as you find Doctor Gorski, I'll see to it myself. Yeah, All you right. better give me an I'm army of probes after the shit like? Yasna has to put up with. I have like twelve probes, all of them circling me around. Taking all the photos, finding my best angle. That's what Yasna deserves. Oh. Wow. Oh, you, you took a picture, baby. Oh, 
We're going to a cave. We're running to a cave because I don't like to be in a small enclosed space. The next point, the third one, is a metal bundle running along the bottom of some water reservoir. Interesting. An object as such should be easy to locate. All right. Am I going the right way? Hello, little one. Wait, so I just circled? What? Wait, what do I need? What a tongue and a grass texture, but. No, 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 no. That's not what I need. Water tank under... What are you... Baby? No, not... R. R is on. This? It looks like something's connecting here. Right? When you admire a beautiful view, an hour seems like a minute. But a minute on a hot stove will seem longer than an hour. Does Regis 3 feel like a hot stove? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's so much of it. I guess this is the fourth point. Oh god, how deep does it go? The structure was mentioned. Our flag should be at the top. Oh. Right, okay. Clonbees? Jump! You're a pro at this, Yasna. I need to get there somehow. Not, not, not. R, R, R. You think I can climb this? Uh, sorry, sorry, baby. And then I just pointed there and I thought that's the traces of shoes. I heard that the difference between past, present, and future is nothing but a persistent illusion. That's a quote, right? Yeah. I'm not sure why it came to mind. Is it Einstein's quote? Or did I... Or is it a quote that's like misnamed to Einstein uh, and Einstein that is actually not Einstein's? Please correct me. I might be... I might be just making a fool out of myself. Yes, no, you are making me nervous. I... Are we going the right way? Yeah, Z, right? What now? 
I think you're going in circle. You need to climb up the hill with big structure. Oh, I wish I could slide and go. You need to climb up this hill with big structure. Hey, Luna. Wait. What? Is it here? Oh, I see a flag. I see a flag. I see a flag. Oh no! Wait. This is where we fucking came from. I'm stupid. Right? Right? I don't know. I don't know. That wouldn't be me playing a video game if I didn't get lost at least once. Okay, so it's down. And I can't. Oh, hey, easy there. Baby. Can I climb here? Uh. Okay, wait, one second, one second, one second, one second! I need to figure out where I am. I'm lost. Fuck, I'm so lost. I literally have them up. How am I lost? <sighs> this is where the water is? Nope! Piss! I'm so lost! I'm walking around in circles over here. Let me climb. Status? Nothing's changed, Astrocator. Understood. Okay, great. Listen, you don't need to sass me. Oh, that doesn't look like a, something I could climb, right? Nope. Absolutely not. Water tank. Underground structure. Water tank. That's where it was. Where is the... I feel like I just... I just... Ended up in a different... Life. No, it's back where you hoped over the level. I know, I'm just trying to find my way back to it. Stop it! Well, nothing, will he? At least not in the last five seconds, sir. Huh? Right. Thank you. Wait, no, that's the way? Oh, piss. <laughs> Follow the metal. Okay. Oh, my God. Tom put me somewhere with my map awareness. They put me anywhere. Just don't, don't allow me to go out, actually. That would be so good. Hello, darling. Ooh. Come in, come in. Hello, face shot. Thank you for the follow. <sighs> yeah. Tab. Fine, Dr. Gorski. Piss. Yes, Everything's alright? Yes. Yes. I just need a moment to think. Uh, as soon as you find something... I'll report it. 
No worries, sir. This looks new, right? Fine. Is this anywhere? Yeah, it's... Oh, the fucking traces of shoes! Lava! Where do I climb? I confirm. It's a false one. I see our flag. Ugh. Oh yes, uh, oh we've really gone and dot. What's the rush? Um, uh, that was for the probe. I keep Excuse on bumping me? into the probe. Yeah, so we this. After you have the lava, the climbing ledge is on your right. Oh, okay, it's fine. We're fine. Go on, hop. Hop. This? That's your left, that's my right! What the fuck do you mean it's my left? Yes, it's going to the right! What do you mean? I'm gonna get aggressive! <sighs> I hope left. So oh. Much. oh, no, you're right. Oh, yeah, that's Sometimes my right. I think you're gonna take off without me, sir. <laughs> Don't count on it, Doctor. I'm not going anywhere. This? Stop spinning so much? No! You don't use caps lock on me! I'm gonna come over there! Thank you for hydrating my bones, seriously! Ugh, I'm hydrated. Jump! Go on, Yasna. Jump. This doesn't seem right. The guy's dead. I'm sorry, the guy's just dead at this point. I don't know. <sighs> My legs feel really heavy. Give yourself a moment to rest, Doctor. You certainly deserve it. On the ledge. Am I going? Find me a climbing ledge, Luna. No, that'll just be going back in circles! I'm gonna nervous scratch my chin. Like I am at... One step at a time, Yasna. Yeah. One step at a time. Follow this cliff on your right. This? Wait, or this?
Will you stream to fight? Yeah. Stop yelling at me! Why you spin? I don't know! Am I going right? Yeah. I need a biscuit. Oh, I have one biscuit left. What? Fucking climb, Yasna. Come on, sweetheart. We gotta go. <sighs> For a while until you get lost again. Great, thanks. What a mystical. You, you're like a little gnome leading the way. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yes, now focus. What now? Mm. Jump. Good. Good job, Yasna. I am so full of beans after the after being lost. Three, two, one. The land is departing. Yes, they're on their way. Thank you for your assistance. Without your help, it would have taken much longer. Oh. What's the plan for the second flight? The same place? That would work best. Certain. Proven. When you and Dr. Gorski come back, I'll send the lander right away. Alright. Concerning? What if it breaks down? We're just stuck. I would just like to say, I would like to, um, uh, the whole court to know the fact that, in fact, I have video evidence of Ash going, I'm a gnome! Tanith, I'm a gnome! So, this, somebody is lying here, if you say you're not a gnome. I'm just saying. This one, hold up in court, buddy! Metal. I've reached the top. The doctor discovered something new from here. Something he called bushes. Huh. I've heard that term before. In their conversations between Kovel and Gorski. I thought he was being Look, sassy. Doctor, you're the one who reported it to me. Oh. Right after you landed. Seriously? Well, I... I... I don't see anything like it now, sir. Wild. Wait. Kovel noted down the parameters. Azimus 350. A distance 200 meters. Copy that. I'm sending the probe. No, my baby! Oh, yeah, black Stop bushes. It. I see the bushes. And the doctor? Mm, hard to tell. Visibility is poor. Huh. It's going to be harder than before. I don't know how the doctor... <sighs> when it comes to finding a safe route, there won't be a problem. But you'll have to get there on your own two feet. Yeah, I suppose a probe will carry out the first task. It's capable, yes? Of course. I set the environment analysis mode. The probe will calculate the best route between your location and your destination. Oh, please. It'll Hold my hand. Along the defined path. Thank you. I need it. I 
Luna. Luna. Lead the way. I love Luna so much. I must say, it's a clever device, this probe of ours. They can not fly for this long. Yes. Longer than you can stand on your feet. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect research unit. Maybe even better than a human. Well, let's not exaggerate. It's a matter of time. I don't know. For me, it's only a matter of time before machines surpass their creators. The only question is when. And good for the machines. Robots, superior, cuter. Well, a lot of robots are cuter. There's a lot of cute humans as well, to be fair. Oh yeah, the sun is a red dwarf. Oh, sorry, he's almost a... entering that stage of his little life. Oh, we have a problem. Something serious? Huh. Maybe it's true that machines will surpass us. But not today. Oh. The route determined by the algorithm goes over a chasm. I can repeat the command. No, no. I'll go around. Unfortunately, this is an outdated model. Such mistakes are inevitable. But the perception module itself has already been greatly improved. Its accuracy increases exponentially. Exponentially? Mm. <laughs> Can you imagine us, protonaceous creatures, developing so quickly? So Terrifying. No, not in the course of evolution. As a concept. You can't perfect a person like that. That's right, you can't. We wait thousands of years for visible changes. Mm. <laughs> Have you started to fear for your position? Hmm. Perhaps one day. Well, everything indicates that the clear distinction between humans and robots will soon disappear. And then what? Capabilities of humanity will increase. See? Hmm. We won't be limited by our own abilities. Robots will excel in areas where we either cannot or do not want to surpass them. To put it bluntly, they will do the dirty work for us. And we'll just sit in the warm privacy of a laboratory and send them to the other side of the universe? Yeah. That's one example. Well, I don't know. Shh. Astrogator, can you hear that? Uh, what am I supposed to be hearing? That's the point. Nothing. Silence. We're talking about robots, and Dr. Gorsley <laughs> still hasn't spoken on the channel. Well, no, no. He must be a long way from here. It is really funny to have the, uh, uh, you know, a deep discussion about fate of humanity and robots, and then go like, we're talking about robots, and this fucking nerd hasn't spoken up yet. That means he's not in the signal. Or he's trying to yell at us. AI dispute. Uh I don't know, I feel like See, I don't wanna I don't wanna draw a thesis for Lem's books because there's been a while since I read them and maybe I had a call like I colored my perspective into a way that suited me the best to consume that material at the time. But I feel like a lot of Lem stories were about sorry the, the hypothesizing about robots taking over humanity stuff was still that it's in a way how we survive or how whoever makes robots survives I should move it's a part of inherently a part of time. humanity or maybe it's just not the thesis at all and I misinterpreted the material but listen that's what I took from it when I was a teenager Dr. Gorski are you here somewhere? Oh god, all of those bushes. They're like... Something is... They're stinky. They're stinky bushes! These bushes are... Kind of weird. You better stay away, Doctor. I'd like a brief description. Just mm. keep a distance. Allow me to use a language I would use to describe living forms, sir. Of course. So, they look like pituitary, brush-like formations. 
They grow out of cracks in the bare rock. They're high, more or less, from one to several meters. Mm. They're weird little guys, is what I'm saying. Luna? Maybe you okay. Luna? Luna? Come here, baby. Oh, oh, there's one. They can be singular, though in some locations they create a uniform thicket that covers a wall's uniform ravine, thicket. rusty brush like layer. That's how it looks, to put it briefly. Would you also venture to guess their significance? Some function, purpose? Mm. <laughs> Either colonial system or Spend energy. Oh. <laughs> biological analogies, which in itself is already a major scientific distortion. Yes, yes, I understand. Mm -hmm. Not real plants. But if they were plants, those protruding parts climbing up, they would serve to obtain energy, mainly solar. Yeah. Solar powered babies. Astrogator, Gorski's not here. I'm afraid he continued to explore. Oh, piss. And if he went where I think he did, he might have lost contact with the camp as well as Dragonfly. Uh, so we will most likely lose contact too. Uh, possibly. Well, there's only one way to be certain. It's your decision, sir. Uh, the line's breaking up, but I understood. I'll let you know, sir, when I come out of the tunnel. Oh! Did I move too fast? Alright. Oh, uh, oh, 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 we're clipping through. <laughs> the beginning where we're going down first to the um the planet Can you hear me? Hopper, I barely even know her. Any side effects? Landing wasn't too hard on you. All good. Spine still in one piece. No signs of overstrain. Not even shortness of breath. <laughs> God damn. The hike to camp goes just as smoothly. The hike to camp? One What great. All brilliant. All fine. Oh, so we're gonna find out how we lost our memories. Fine. I didn't spook myself out. Outside. Visibility? 100%. The dust has already settled. Be cool. Oh. I've located the second lander. Our people are still on this planet. Ah, very good. I was afraid they might try to fly off, which wouldn't be the best idea given the loss of communication with Dragonfly. I like how everything is brushed with dust as well. How it affects all the textures. This is, it's nice. I like it. Hello, Dixie boy. Where have I been? Please explain myself. Um. No, I won't. <sighs> Where have I been? I don't know. I'm here. Hello. I am back. I'm alive. I am. I've been just consistently ill and I hate it. 
it's been like it's been so long i'm so tired of just being ill constantly it, it makes me angry i don't like it and i think I, I like i'm still ill now and you can hear my fruit being quite scratchy from time to time but at to a certain point you just gotta go i need to live i am so tired of being ill constantly <laughs> welcome back thank you so much thank you so much it's good to be back it's good to be playing the invincible oh god it's such a good game i think we're gonna go for a bit longer probably and then i wanna i wanna i wanna be able to continue it on thursday as well this is this is a delicious little snack that i need to split into i don't want to go by the whole cake all in one go Sir, oh. something's wrong. What is it? The hatch is half open. Did they report hydraulics failure? How should I know? You were the last person in contact with the crew, Doctor. Don't yell. Right. Burn panel. I'm inside. And? How is it? Not great. They couldn't go back even if they wanted. Even if they wanted to, they couldn't go back to Dragonfly. Their lander looks damaged, to put it mildly. Or more accurately, it, it seems like a storm has passed through it. Oh, God. Understood. I mean, I don't understand how it happened. But that means... Hopper is the only vehicle that can take us home. Affirmative. Not great. Right. But then we can't afford another mistake. I'm taking the lander into orbit. I'll send it directly to the camp as soon as we find a suitable landing zone. You're marching towards the camp. I... We shouldn't be here. Astrogator, I think... I don't know what we expected. Coming here at the end of our expedition. The equipment is barely working. If it works at all. And you, sir. You barely escaped alive. Okay, I admit that we have a very successful campaign behind us. But I feel like we've used up all our luck. And now, we're asking for trouble. Hi. <sighs> It's just one planet too many for us. Which doesn't change the fact we're here. Let's so focus on completing this mission. There won't be another. Oh my god. I dare to doubt. <laughs> Where does this certainty come from, Astrogator? HQ can send us as many directives as they please, justified or not. I won't let that happen. We have the Imprimis Homini law to refer to. The Commonwealth cannot achieve its goals at the expense of the people. At the expense of my crew. But... Isn't that exactly what's happening? Mm. The situation is bad, Astrogator. Though it wasn't much better at the beginning of the mission. Whoever sent us here didn't care about our safety at all. Enough! Please don't put me in an even more difficult position. Oh, yeah, I mean. Protecting a new mission and questioning the validity of the current one are two different issues. And you're one step away from disciplinary action, Doctor. Jesus. Copy that. Over and out. I have an object in sight. Whoa. Damn, you were right, Cobble. It's beautiful here. Focus. This is where they searched the ocean's biosynosis. Meaning, oh, where they caught that fish, right? Mm, yeah. They stopped here first, then walked along the coastline northward. Correct. But I think you Come might consider in, taking a shortcut towards the east, straight to the camp. Just need to find the right route. <laughs> Come in, darling. I've been expecting you. <laughs> Dixie boy, thank you so much, but that's too kind. That's so, so very sweet of you. Come in, darling. I've been expecting you. <laughs> Come in, darling. I've been expecting you. I'm so but I don't know what to say. This is just too kind. I feel like it's one of those things where you're like, I don't deserve this kind of kindness. But I really, I really appreciate it. And it's very, very sweet. And thank you. And that's very, very nice. Come in, darling. I've been expecting you. Oh, you! Thank you, Dixie boy. I just come in, darling. I've been expecting you. 
Mm. Thank you very much. That is so very, very sweet. Come in, darling. I've been expecting you. Ah! Ah! I'm gonna do a little Come happy in, dance darling. inside of my heart. I'm gonna clap. I'm gonna clap my tap dancing shoes together. Like a like a little gnome. Come in, darling. I've been expecting you. That is so very, very nice, man. I'm... Eh. I'm fine. I'm fine. That is just very sweet and it makes me feel very happy and I really greatly appreciate it. Thank you. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. 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 We're fine. We're fine. Trash. They stop for a break. How do you know? Siggies! Someone was smoking here. I found a cigarette bud and a pack. Someone was smoking here. <laughs> yes, that's just good. Oh. Disrupting the ecosystem. That, that's not the point. What do you mean that's, that's not the point? To minimize the effects of our interference here, Doctor. But the mission's safety is at stake. I don't think I have to explain to you the dangers of igniting a dusty atmosphere. That's Preserving the integrity true. of Regis 3's already extinct ecosystem is not a problem. We don't know if it's already extinct. We found a fish. I dare to disagree. Regis 3 is an alien planet, Astrogator. Extinct or not, we shouldn't act like we own the place. Because of this kind of attitude, the Anthropocene will become the fate of every planet. Excuse my interruption, sir. Oh! Can you please confirm that I'm on the correct route? Yes, I confirm. This way will reach the camp within an hour. So, continuing. Oh! Aren't you exaggerating, Doctor? I probably sound like a simple soldier, but I believe that if something is already dead, it can't be harmed, let alone killed. That's it's true, but that's quite right. In the biological sense, you never know what you'll face on a mission. But will our knowledge prove sufficient to comprehend what's alien to us? Or will we ever begin to understand it? We could even accidentally kill it. Sounds like quite a far reaching assumption, especially considering that we're talking about a harmless fag end at the far end of the known universe. <sighs> this route may be faster. But it's not the easiest. Anyway, back to our conversation. I got a bit carried away. <laughs> but still, we shouldn't behave recklessly on the mission. On that we can agree, Doctor. Completely. I like it. I would like to say, sorry, I need to pause this because I would like to say I really appreciate the fact that you have a conversation and it's like, oh, I want to confirm if we we're still on the route just to interrupt. And it's like going back to our conversation so you it, it doesn't cut them off that is so fucking cool that is that is fantastic addition i am so greatly appreciative of this that's also i know because a bit of a bastard but it's also it's nice to have the him and yasna discuss stuff together it's, it's cute I just love this game so much. Is this a game? Yes, this is a game. What are you? Yes, this is a game. In fact, we're playing video games. I am so sorry. <laughs> so good. So good. I love this game. So much. I'm just kind of like taking it all in and accepting. I appreciate good narrative and great visuals. I do too, Zala. Yeah, it's so nice. You're cute. No, you. Thank you. I feel like um, a very sad porcelain doll today, but it's one of those creepy porcelain dolls, like kind of like Annabelle from the new Annabelle movies. Which Annabelle wasn't a doll originally, right? She was a puppet. She was like a stuffed little... Anyway, I'm, I'm going on a tangent. Did I like Modern Warfare 3? 
Um, I did some, I did like some stuff about it. And there's some stuff that I didn't love about it. But we played it together on stream and that means I had a lot of fun. So I'm appreciative of that. I really like to listen to you excitedly talking about games. Ah, uh, I like, I like talking with everyone about games a lot. It's nice. It's so nice. It makes me appreciate it. So, in, oh my I god, dude! <sighs> I, I really appreciate it. It is so very, very nice. I, in, <laughs> I've been expecting you. I, this is so nice, but I feel like. I don't know, I, I... Come in, darling, I've been expecting you. I'm just so stressed out that I'm, I'm like... Uh, that you're w wasting your money on me. I'm like, maybe... Maybe... Come in, darling, I've been expecting you. That is very nice. Uh, that is that is too nice. Come in, darling, I've been expecting you. Uh, this is just this is just like when somebody gives you a compliment this is this is so very sweet i'm just clogging up i i am <laughs> i just don't want to say this seems too kind thank you dixie boy oh oh no i'm turning into a crackly i'm turning into an old door Somebody needs to moisten up my hinges. I'm creaking. Come in, darling. I've been expecting you. Ah! I'm fine. I just need to yell to let out the positivity. Oh my god. Okay, I'm good. Thank you so much. That is so very, very sweet. I just feel like this is one of the situations where I was like, I'm like, do you want a, do you want a tea? Do you want a cup? Do you, I, I, I can make you a bread. Oh, I, I learned how to make a milk bread. Dixie boy, would you like to have some Hokkaido milk bread? I can make a quiche. I know how to make a quiche. I don't, I'm like, this is so nice for my hinges. Thank you for my... <laughs> Thank you for oiling my hinges, my quirky little hinges. Thank you very much. Okay, so, okay. Ah, my cheeks are like burning up from smiling. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Go down, go down, yes no, yes no, yes no, yes no, please! Oh, thank god! Oh, god. This skybox is stunning. Oh, don't go into the water. Don't go for a dip, yes no, not yet. Where's... Oh, we're, we're splitting? Oh, towards the camp. Yeah, so we're going the right way. Okay. I was... Here, if you're wondering, sir. Mm -hmm. It all just... takes longer than expected. I know the situation. Oh, we're back in the no bushes. Yourself, doctor. We're in this together. What is this? Astrogator? I found a peculiar inorganic structure. It looks like some spiky metal growths. Artificial plants? Is spontaneous growth possible with this type of structure? Oh, I've never seen anything like this. Oh, I wish I had time to run some tests. When the situation <laughs> is stabilized, we will take samples. I promise. Oh, I feel nauseous. Suddenly. <laughs> That's not it. I feel darkness. 
Oh, this one pass out first. Oh, Jesus. That was a great yell. That was such a good yell. Uh, did we just break a piece of it off? It's like, ah, oh, let me take this for later. Let me take that shuffle. No, we're going deeper. We're going deeper. Right? No? No. No, we're not. Is this a scary game? I don't know. <laughs> I, so far, we've seen, there's been some horrifying things that happened. And one of our crew members died. And the other one seems to, uh, something happened. And they're just, we're not able to communicate with them at all. It seems that everything seems to, like, mystically break down. It's a terrifying situation. We're looking for the last member of our team that was split. So it's kind of scary, but it's not really... It's not jump scary. It's more, um... It's more tense and psychological and... Existential. Are you there? Over. Oh. I guess that's a no. Oh, Luna. What's up, baby? Luna. Oh! <laughs> oh! Luna and she were rocking it. I don't know what. That jump. <laughs> that jump scared me. <laughs> Luna just mel merged into the rock. <laughs> come come here, Luna. Come here, baby. Luna. Come here, honey. I love Luna. My best friend. Oh, love it. Is everything all right? Yes. Yes, all good. They're already in the infirmary on life support. Found oh, Crowther's alive. Did they re react in any way? How about their reactions? Had they regained consciousness? I mean, maybe one of them said something. Uh, unfortunately, that's still unresponsive. I'll let you know if anything changes. I'm doing an EEG on them right now. So, Krauta could have died. Because I got an achievement that Krauta is still alive, so I guess he was... Does that mean we're able to save Marit? Or we would have been able to save Marit? And because I... Um... Because I repaired the robot... I took the time away? Oh. Guess I know where Gorska was going. <sighs> Can I... Can I... Can I? Oh, -ee. Oh, climbing I rope. Confirm. Gorski was here. His rope is still hanging from the slope. That's a good sign. Since he left it, he intends to come back this way. <sighs> Give it a pull first. Why hasn't he? Give yet? it a pull first. Give it a pull first. I'm going down after him. Yes, not. Uh, tell me one more thing. When it comes to Marit, are you going to use a grave tapper? Yes, I am considering that as a possibility. And what is your opinion? A grave tapper. Should we look? Oh. No, no, no. We. Oh. 
one sec. Oh, piss. How oh, about the end of the rope? Ground. Is that good? Not at all. What do you mean? Oh. I'm stuck. I'm hanging with all my weight on the rope, away from the wall. There's still a fair few meters left to the ground. Can you go back? Using just my hands, strapped with all this extra weight? No, not a chance. What if you sway? Well, oh, sway to where? I can just jump off. Is that safe? No! No! Not really! A substantial fall on unsteady ground. This is hardly a maneuver that I would describe as safe. So let's take a moment to analyze the situation. I'm thinking. Luna, stop taking pictures! This way and didn't break anything. <laughs> yeah, we don't know that yet. You could keep going even with it. Okay. Okay, this is a waste of time. You only die once? Just like Nancy Sinatra. Just like Nancy Sinatra said. I couldn't even pronounce Nancy Sinatra's name properly because I was too, I'm too terrified. Okay. Just do it. Do it. Do it, Yasna. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. That's too far. What's happening? Did you fall? Uh, I jumped. I'm fine. I'm so well. Yes. No fractures. Please stop for a moment. Yep. Make sure you're all right. Uh, no, there's no need for a delay. Dr. Gorski is waiting. Yeah. And I was lost for so many hours. You probably already came back to the but ship. You just didn't notice. Just a few minutes after noon. Even then, Dr. Gorski was walking alone. Communications blew up shortly before he got here. Damn. This place is amazing. It's all made up of these structures. Except they don't look like creations of nature anymore. Maybe that's why Dr. Gorski, and not to mention the Alliance. Well, if we're looking for something on this planet, this could be it. These structures form entire multi-story complexes. They look like a city. This is fucking no, cool. No. There's no point in jumping to conclusions yet. Oh shit! Telling me I love that cracked. She already I'm knew. Worried. What matters is that you're fine. Oh, what assumption oh, he would anyway. make with civilization? How oh, that's so. Oh, the music and everything in the reveal. I feel so bad because I was walking like this, looking in the ground. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Yasna. I'm so sorry. Hi, Sarah. How are you doing? I'm, dude, I'm doing so, I'm doing so well. Uh, I, am, I was influenced by you. Uh, I was influenced by your TikTok where you were talking about um uh great books to read and uh, my friend hall also recommended me our wives under the sea and i was thinking about it and i was like i kind of forgot about it and i saw it on your tiktok and i was like i got, i've been thinking about this book for so long you're right i have to get it i have to read it and i can't find it anywhere in my bookstores uh but i am i am on a hunt i'm gonna order it just because i saw it you uh, uh, thank you thank you for influencing me to finally read our wives under the sea instead though i wanted to show you i'll post it on discord i wanted to tag you because i got a new natalie hayes book and i managed to get a signed copy and i was it was just i was going to waterstones and it was so cool because um oh my god what did i i was looking at something I don't remember. What was I doing? I was trying to get something else. Uh, no, I was trying to get Our Wives Under the Sea. I went to Waterstones. I couldn't find it. And then as we were going out, Ash went, Oh, look at all of these books. And then I think he pointed at Natalie Hayes, which 
I love Natalie Hayes. And it was on the display. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. A new, a new book came out by Natalie Hayes? This is, I didn't know. And I picked it up, signed copy. And I was just there like, ah Excited, so excited. By the way, big recommend Natalie Hayes. I can put I influenced my favorite streamer to get one of my favorite books. Uh, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> I'm gonna have a t-shirt. Oh, my favorite TikToker influenced me. <laughs> and then underneath there's a picture of our wives under the sea. I am so, I'm so excited to read it. It's because I keep on thinking about it now. And you know when you have like become obsessive with something, you're like, I gotta have it. I'm just gonna order it because like I've been to two places already and I didn't have it and I knew they had it before so somebody before me got it because it showed up that it was available and I'm like oh somebody somebody stole my gaze what's going on I'm so excited to read it I'm gonna I'm gonna genuinely I'm gonna read it I'm gonna go back to you immediately and go I probably I'm probably gonna go either be emotionally destroyed or absolutely love it or uh, probably both emotionally destroyed and em <laughs> absolutely destroyed and emotionally loving it <laughs> oh god speaking of books also i would like to read some lem stories again which is what invincible is based on because i i haven't read lem since i was a teenager and i think my perspective on the world was uh, a bit different that a flag. Dr. Gorski set up the flags. Sir, he kept going, despite the lack of communication with the rest. You'd have to see it with your own eyes, sir. This place. Gorski may have lost himself in his discovery. Are you joking, Doctor? Lost himself? Gorski? He may not have respect for the unknown, but he has his feet firmly on the ground. Mm. I think he must have discovered something. And since he suffers from excessive ambition, he's capable of stupid acts in the name of a breakthrough. Love that. Well, I admit, that sounds more like him. You must trace his steps, Doctor. I'm working on it. We spend so... Comparatively, I just want to say, we spend not, like, a significant amount of times with the rest of the crew, but we're getting such a cl it's such an incredibly written game we're getting a clear view of who these characters are obviously you have the multiple choice with Yasna and Sad but you will with Novik being kind of like a bit dodgy he's still the leader but he's clearly to a certain extent it seems like he's willing to make decisions that for example Yasna wouldn't find completely morally acceptable I don't know uh, and the banter between the two of them and their clashing ideologies are so interesting. And then we have, uh, Gr oh my god, why do I want to say Gromsko? It's not the name of the fucking doctor. It's Dr. Gorski. Dr. Gorski, not Dr. Gromsko. And uh, Dr. Gorski being just the dude who's absolutely obsessed with uh, the, 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 <laughs> the robot's discourse and him getting lost in the discovery and Marit being somebody who was closer to the findings, being somebody who is a very m matriarchal figure, the one who helped everybody from hypersleep, the one who was very, who Yasna looked to a great amount. And then we have the, um, oh my god, I forget his name now. Uh, um, I'm gonna look at my achievements because I got an achievement for him living. Krauta. Krauta being, uh, Krauta having the little, uh, like, cute conversation with Yasna and then you pick up the notes and there's a little drawing of Yasna in the corner dissecting the fish and there's a I don't know you, it feels to me like you're getting such a clear picture of all these characters in such a beautiful world and those conversations like the conversation that Novik and Yasna are having between each other feel very like I, 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 this is two people talking to each other this isn't a, this doesn't feel like I am listening to oh somebody written this dialogue to push whatever this feels like a legitimate two people conversing with each other 
and it is uh, having that kind of grounding in a very uh, kind of upstart i mean a sci-fi setting is it's incredible like I, I don't know why it's activating all of my neurons i so I, the amount of love of hype for this game is just ah uh, ah uh. sorry i just had to i had to flow it out because this is oh it's, this is just filling me with so much joy for video games you know okay i'm sorry i got i got it all all out of my system not all i got i got some of it out of my system <laughs> oh no i'm doing okay woke up feeling sick a few times suddenly had blonde white foods for now i'm so 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 sorry i as as a fellow this icky sicky fucking ritz ritz crackers i don't know why it's i think it's a right amount of simple with fat and with a bit of salt for taste basically that is very good on my like upsetty spaghetti stomach i i highly recommend ritzes but then i get i was like oh we don't have the same kind of probably biology i was like oh but ritzes ritzes so good i hope you feel better i'm so sorry sarah I sometimes buy books because of beautiful covers. I got Starling House the other day. I'll read it through. I'm not sure it's my thing. I want to see that cover now. To be fair though, I, I get it. When a cover is just stunning, you, you want it. There's this a beautiful edition um, of Dracula that came out, um, I think, last year. And it, it's it's it has a stunning illustration. It has like... Uh, the pages when you put them together there's just butts on them it's so 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 beautiful and i want it it's like 50 pounds and i'm like i have a i have the penguins club band edition of dracula i think i can't afford that that's so cute and good especially after modern warfare 3 it's good seeing you so excited no bless you i i'm still excited about modern warfare 3 but i think i was more excited to just play it with everyone it's it's an unfortunate some things that happen are unfortunate but i i i fucking love i love games i love the the absolute beauty and potential of the uh, video games as a storytelling device it's ah uh, just makes me really happy uh, i'll send you the cover later yes please thank you zalea oh i should probably yeah click on all of those bits is that a broken transmitter? Yep. Are you receiving a signal? What signal? From Dr. Gorski. No, no. Why are you asking? He tried to open up a connection. Set up a transmitter. There's nothing on the comms. But I'll check the record history. Please give me a moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no worries. left or right how do i go right i was probably safe through here all right no this will crack under my this this will crack under me don't two more hours huh that's all gorski has left of oxygen at best oh, jesus christ and at worst he's just finishing it up though it all depends on his activity uh, he could. He can breathe the atmosphere. If I remember correctly, for a couple the hours. The atmosphere here is breathable. Mm hmm Basically, yes. Doctor Crowther, however, warned that the methane content. I know, I know, but the effects won't be immediate. Yeah, 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 yeah. A few extra hours. Oh, <sighs> that's fucking terrifying. These constructions don't have a clear division into functions. They're huge, complicated, and uniform at the same time. Do you have any idea where all this could have come from? I'm aware without tests you can't do much. But let's say on first inspection. This metal somehow grows by itself. It's hard for me to imagine that any biological forms mm. could survive here. The interiors of these structures are filled to the brim with wires and rods so maybe this metal builds up somehow by itself 
you already said something similar before. Just after landing, when you found those bushes. Oh. Yes. Right. Um, I can't tell if any of this could be part of a machine. Hmm. Really wish we found Gorski already. Biological looking metal. I look, there's metal. <laughs> you know. Hey, baby. I see the probe. You know. Is it all right? Is everything all right with it? Hey, baby. Uh, very much so. According to the readings, this place is one big ruin. Corrosion hmm. reaches to the very bottom, and the upper parts are full of holes, like a sieve. Hmm. Other than that, everything is cold, dead, and very, very old. Do the structures interpenetrate with rocks? I am so curious how they made a lot of this stuff. It is because my brain goes, fractals, fractals, but, ah. Uh, I, I saw that people, um, it was a level designer, I think, who was talking about maybe posting some, like, behind the scenes, how they made stuff on it, and I'm so, I'm so curious. I wanna, I wanna gobble up all the knowledge they're willing to provide about how they developed the game, because I am just, uh. It's a bit like Pando. In what? I have no idea what you're talking about, Doctor. Pando? A, a colony of populous tremoloids. American Aspen. The new trees grow not from seeds, but from root suckers of old trees. Oh. As a result, it's one giant organism, thousands of years old. So you're in a dead metal forest. Huh, that does sound bizarre. Though maybe. I'm so sorry. I was just, I was looking at this bit of the wall and I was looking on how the textures and stuff go on it. And I was like, is this just like a bump map thing that is, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just sorry. I'm just, I'm just riffing in my brain. But it also the color scheme and when you have the little splotches of light coming through, it reminded, it, it reminded me a little bit of a Bekshinsky's painting. And I was like, this is nice. Sorry. I just, good art, good art. I'm just taking moments to be amazed and happy and ugh. What a good game. What a good flipping game. Doctor, something has been recorded after all. But there are plenty of errors in the transmission header. It's hard to say whether this is a message from Gorski. Let's hear it, please. Melissa, play it. Maybe we'll finally find out what's going on with the Doctor. Wow. Let's hope so. Oh. Repeat, this is Gorski. Sounds like Gorski. <laughs> Come in. No doubt. It's him. Now let's keep listening. But as soon as you report anything, Doctor, I'll stop the recording. No confirmation again. I report. I've made an amazing discovery. Geometric structures that are thick as a bushy pointed rods and sockets. Mostly iron, but not only. Molybdenum, carbon, tungsten, and altogether similar to a giant integrated circuit. A million swarm of tangled chaos. Not a trace of electric currents, polarity, not even residual magnetism. Maybe once upon a time, centuries ago, petawatts or exawatts of power flowed this way. Yet to compare with something, it's, it's probably a machine. Some kind of information collective structure. Maybe it was some kind of electronic brain. 
It makes me think of the Nyrans. A race of extinct sentient beings. Supposedly, they knew about light astrogation before we invented the wheel. They had to save themselves from the explosion of Nova. They sent ships. The remains of the remains of those ships have been found ashed to a chip glued together. I've seen the hypothetical So far, it all leads to one conclusion. This is not a place for a man. Aye. Nor for any human. Aye. Yasna fucking knows it. Maybe it's really an alien technology. Those Lyrans. As far as I know, all information about the Lyran civilization is just guesswork. Many consider Lyrans to be just a myth, so I wouldn't take it too seriously. I don't think it's a myth. Well. I think there might be something to it. I feel By like the it... way, you were right, oh? Doctor. Gorski did lose himself in his discovery, in spite of everything. <laughs> yeah! One point to Yasna. Ugh. I feel like at this point, there's so many possibilities of whatever this is, but also I love the fact that because they have different professions they're gonna use different descriptors and to a certain extent come different to different conclusions about it where um gorski was talking about this being machines and then yasna was talking about the possibility of it being something biological i don't know it's interesting they, they just use different descriptors and different um kind of specifications to what they consider this to be. It's just interesting. I like it. It just makes everybody feel so real. And also, yeah, this game is stunning, isn't it? Nothing's changed, Astrocator. I found some abandoned items. What items? What do you have there, Yasna? I have a bad Something feeling. Something he shouldn't have left behind. A telemeter and food rations. Agreed. He shouldn't. It's illogical. Oh, deep down? Nope. Less deep down? I'll take it. And and hunt? Hunt, Prince? There are more traces. This oh, he just dropped. Prince. Okay. And a drop detector. What? Did I hear you right? I guess he fell. Yes, sir. You heard me right. As if he fell and then crawled on all fours. Bloodstains? No. Luckily, nothing like that. a bit of a terrifying place to be in i'm not gonna lie don't love it i love uh, luna you're my best friend i love you so much no one of sound mind would decide to go down this way and yet gorski oh gorski decided to i found something again There's more of the same stuff. Uh, more of the same stuff. Gorski's things. More traces. Fine. Actions devoid of logic. Back in the camp, you reported Marit's abandoned things. A backpack and a journal, yes. Uh, this scene looks disturbingly similar. Dangerous descent of the room. Whenever I see the other options, someone I'm like, oh, yes, no, wouldn't say this. And it's quite funny because I'm gonna guess that they really accounted for a possible variations of how it would change your perspective about the character with the responses. And it feels so like I feel so possessive now of the version of Yasna 
that we build together because to me it's like oh it's the Yasna especially because we're going through all the shit with her it it makes me feel like no 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 we understand her we get what she's going through I would be really interested to hear the other ones but I was like mm, I don't know my Yasna wouldn't do it ouch Yasna what is it I took a shortcut on purpose uh... Not really. Oh. Jesus Christ. Didn't like that. Mm-mm. 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 His backpack. Gorski. Oh, there he is. He's hung in. I see him. He's lying in a sinkhole. Doctor, answer me, please. Gorski, come on, man. I have to go around. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Son of a bitch. Almost there. Come here, man. Don't collapse again. <laughs> oh my god, that's so smart! Gorski! Gorski! Look at me! It's just like when you get a mirror it's for like people to um, take a breath in. He's alive, but barely. Did he react in any way? He seems unconscious. No reaction. He seems unconscious. Gorski! Come on! Calm down, Doctor. Get him out of there. The probe's already looking for a landing site. Hmm. Up you go, buddy. I'll talk okay. to you. I'll talk to you about robots, Ben. I'm so worried we're gonna fall. Oh, we didn't fall. Done. He's out. Thank God. I activated his SOS. You should pick up a transmission with his parameters, sir. Well? No, nothing. The transmitter in the suit must be too weak. Should I retrieve his booster from the backpack? Uh, no point. Better to set up a relay. We have to do it anyway so that Hopper can land in this maze. Mm. Have a preliminary scan of your surroundings. There's an open area nearby. You have to move Gorski there. The bro will guide you. Alright. I have to get him oxygen but first. he's not stable. I must share my oxygen with him, Astrogator. You need a spare for that. The protocol doesn't provide for connecting two suits at the same time. I'll give him mine. In that case, I'll give him my tank. Negative. I won't allow that, sir. If you faint, the doctor won't carry you. The membrane looks intact. What did you say? I didn't hear. I'm sorry. Here you go, Gorski. Give your oxygen. Hold on, Gorski. Yasna! Please repeat. I didn't say anything important. It's nothing, Astrogator. Some static on the line. Ah, Yasna! 
А, уже ясно. Let's go. Let's go, Luna. My baby. Oh god, we we just gave him the oxygen and Yasna's already breathing hard. I'm fine. This wasn't a bad choice at all, right? Oh hi Utopia! I'm like simping for the characters. Um I don't think it's that type of game for me, but I am I love Yasna. She's my baby girl. I would die for her. She is perfect in every way. How are you doing, Utopia, by the way? Hi, Rexa. I need to just... Yeah. Sorry, I just had some... I'll just put some lip balm on. Oh, okay. I'm not stressed out. I'm normal. No, Are you no. Sort of. Yes. What's your setup to transmit or I should stop it even go? Oh. You okay, Luna? Oh, don't make me. No. Nope. I'll do it fast and then we'll be fine. Disneyland ride is fucking shit. Get me up. Oh, what? Okay, she's alive. Oh, what was that? The amount of stress I had for one second where it was like, I killed the Asna. And then I was like, oh god, we're gonna have to play but with Novik. What if we have to just go down as Novik and we're alone? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for keeping my girly alive, game. I... Luna is... Luna is just a little baby. Oh, Utopia, that sounds like a really good Eve. I'm gonna play some Smash. Well, have a lovely, lovely afternoon or night. That sounds so cool. Oh, God. So she just left that body. It dead... It's not a dead body. Gorski is still alive. Shut up. I gave him my oxygen so he would stay alive. Oh. Astrogator, I, I, I'm underground. It's hard to determine my exact location. Novik. Do you copy? Give him my oxygen. Base come in. And I'm underground. I'm an alone. Anyone? Please. Okay. Stay calm. Just keep it together. Heartbeats racing. But saturation hasn't dropped below the tissue norm. Mm. Not yet. At least. <laughs> oh, 
Have a good night, um. Sleep well. I love you. I will probably play for a little bit longer and then I'll have to go to bed as well. But this is... Oh, this is such a bum. I don't want to stop now. I want to know. I want to get Yasa out of us. Please. Oh, God. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, that's shaped like a skull. It feels like it, at least. Deposit of water. Probably unsafe. But remember rule number three. Hydration. I'd rather not risk it. Meteoric waters. No. Too deep. Slippery terrain. Poor visibility. Considering all factors. Situation. Hopeless. At least I got flight. Oh, come on. Oh. Son of a bitch. Great. What? 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 Oh. 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 Oh, it's because I slipped and she was trying to take up the flare. So then two animations got overlaid on top of each other and it was extremely tricky. <laughs> All right. Anywhere else I can go? Nope. Ah, piss. Come on, Yasna. We'll get you out of this. <laughs> no, but that hole was well lit. It was my hole. <laughs> It was all made for me. Okay. Careful. <laughs> no. Piss. No hope. No chance. Deep abyss. Narrow passage. Yes, no. That's my considered opinion. Fucked. Yes, no. Here, here, here. What? Who's that? I, I can't see. You, but how? You, you were supposed to, Doctor. Why won't you answer me? What? It's good to see you again, Yasna. Unfortunately, there is no time for pleasantries. We need to get out of here now. Wait, I have questions. What is going on? Hey, not so fast. I have some questions. Later, Yasna. Now, go to your left. It should be easier from there. How are you going to get us out? How exactly do you plan on getting us out? I'm so exhausted. Oh, it's the oxygen. It's because we don't have enough enough. oxygen. And we're hallucinating. Come on, get up. You can do it. Uh. Asshole. 
<laughs> Absolute dickhead. Absolute dude. Go on. He's still there. Mm. Just expected him to disappear. Oh, God. What? No! It's such a narrow passage! Krauta, are you there? Krauta, say something. I can't stand this dreadful silence. Silence is harmless. You shouldn't be afraid of it. Unlike other things. Unlike what? And what should I be afraid of? Dehydration, hypoxia, methane poisoning. The list is quite long. Oh, what were you thinking, really? I warned you against opening your helmets. All right, Crowder. All your oxygen to a dead man. A complete failure of reason in the act of futile heroism. Futile? Gorski isn't dead. That's why I left him my damn tank. Yeah, he might as well be. Do you really think giving him oxygen was enough? Something attached you up there. Odds are, it got Gorski as well. We'll check and come back for him. Novik should be monitoring his parameters after all. Yeah, about that. You shouldn't trust everything the old man says. He only tells us what he sees fit. Huh? What do you mean? Doesn't matter now. Let's focus on getting out of this maze. Is your equipment operational? Nothing damaged? I think so. Flares are wet, though. What equipment do you have on you? Procedural minimum or more? Give me a rest. <laughs> uh, slow down. <laughs> I need to rest. Ah, rest is for the dead. <laughs> oh. I've had enough. I just enough. Forward, Yasna. Faster, Yasna. We're racing against time, Yasna. We're constantly fighting for life, Yasna. Enough of this nonsense. I don't want to fight anymore. I, I don't want to fight. Fair enough, honestly. Right, Yasna. Have it your way. What? <laughs> A moment ago, you were forcing me to struggle on. But now you'll let me die. Just like that. Uh, not just Broker, like that. You, you did everything you could, but even that wasn't enough. You have the right to finally give up. I know what you're trying to do. I'm not a stubborn child, Crowter. Reverse psychology won't work on me. Pity. It was worth a try, though. Mm. On second thought, I imagine there are worse places to die. It's rather peaceful, actually. Just close your eyes and let yourself go. Born. Okay. Come on, okay. Allison. Turns out I prefer to live than let you talk me to death. <laughs> I don't know if I can't. I still don't know if I can make it. You have to. Steep. Too steep. I can't. I'm not no Vic Yasna. It's better for you to focus on climbing instead of reporting everything. Thank goodness. You're not real. 
There you are. All my talking turned out to be quite helpful, huh? Don't push it, Crowder. I can use that. Can I? How do I? No. There's um. Yeah. It is Crowter. should have cobble rather than Crowter. If we're gonna, if we're gonna think of someone, but... Is that a fucking skeleton? Oh, there's a skeleton here! Do you see this? Well, if you're talking about the coal deposits and the bones of prehistoric reptiles, then yes. They're further up as well. They're further up as well. You repeated yourself. There was life on land after all. Finally, we have proof. There was life on the land. After all, millions of years ago. Do we need such good news? Because now, not even bacteria or viruses. Could it be radiation? If the extinction happened as a result of a close supernova, Organisms in the depths of the oceans would have a chance of survival. Gorski even mentioned that Lyrazita was a nova. Yeah, but we ruled that out, Rimmer. What do you mean? Are you really here with me? Crowter? Yeah? Are you really here with me? Of course. We all are. You have distinct memory traces of us. You know, in your brain. Self Orgos, love that. About. I know, but there's no definitive answer. We can only hope that you won't forget us when it's all over. So little, yet so much. I don't want to forget, Crowther. I, I really don't. Come. It's time to be among other people again. They are there, somewhere. I promise. Fuck. Oh. Go on, yes, no, you're doing great. Wait, I can... So fucking sad. Because it is Yasna hallucinating, but in a way that means that internally she already accepted that they're no longer who they are. Oh god. The music also slaps, but it's so fucking sad. Oh, 
Oh, We're fuck yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Astrogator, I... Just I'm here. Over. Sir, I saw Crowther. I don't quite understand myself. All right, let's see that for now. Are you interested in No. Oh! I came out of trouble and escaped into. What the hell is this? What the... What kind of deadly shit is this? Doctor, what are you talking about? There's something here. It looks like a machine. It burned a hole in the wall. And I was watching all these kind of... What kind of nightmare <gasps> fucking fuel? You must evacuate immediately. Do you... I recognize the dumb thing. Do you? Actually, this noise. It's the damn thing that dropped me underground. Oh, very pissed. nicely. I even have a suspicion of what exactly we're dealing with. One of the flagship machines of the Alliance would match the description. Oh, piss. I think it's moving away from me. Excellent. Don't stop yet, though. The greater the distance between you and this machine, the better. How did they get How here so soon? That the Alliance machine got here before us. I'd like to know myself. If our intel's incorrect and invincible already landed on Witches 3, it would have a huge advantage. I can see a passage, but it doesn't look very inviting. Oh, piss. Of course. Why not? I'm still here. I have to. I'm stuck. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. It's getting closer. It's gonna crush me. I've got nowhere to run. No. I'm gonna die here after all. Okay. The probe did something. <laughs> As if. I, I don't know. I don't know. I saw the readings. They were distress signal and then followed a series of directives that I didn't implement. Currently, it does not respond to commands. <clears throat> I'll check on it. <sighs> Luna is my box. baby. My angel. Also a switch. Turn it off. Turn this fucking thing off. <laughs> Let's see. I guess it's busted for good. The Polaroids. You guess right, sir. The Alliance is indeed already on the planet. They Look at all these a little... field base. Head Little slides. According to intelligence, the invincible is not due to arrive for another 14 days. Uh, I guess we should ask them back home. Sass. Going through the hole. Perfect hole. Oh. That's me. <laughs> That's me. Wow. Ready for my death. It really did almost flatter me. Oh god, and a close up. Thanks, man. Probe. It Luna. It distracted the antimats. You say that as if it did it on purpose. Because Luna is the best. Because that's what I think. But how else to explain it? Coincidence. I don't believe in such coincidences, Astrogator. Oh, 
I mean, I don't want but the Luna and I don't like it. Luna. Not much left of it. The probe was broadcasting a while ago, so maybe we can save its core. You could say that since I found the probe, I haven't been alone. Uh, I'm sorry, Yasna. Maybe it can still be rebuilt. Anyway, you're not entirely alone. I feel like I've... I've lost another companion. My last one. You still have me. Not down here. to win over a person you have to steal their heart but the key is to get their brain you know that's just a metaphor anatomically incorrect and highly overused yes okay time to get out of here oh, not good don't get a oh my fucking god what next <laughs> Stormfront is approaching your location. Now of all times. I'm a doctor. But please muster up a little more strength. Let's not forget that the Alliance is in the city. Wait oh, a the metal. Do you have any specific up because expectations of... of me? Since I'm nearby their troops. It's hard to call them specific. We need to learn more. You're missing the most important thing, sir. We still have to save Gorski. I, I don't know what your silence means. Uh, I was going to tell you later. I'm really sorry. What? His readings. No. No, don't finish. We gave him the oxygen. That's impossible. He was stable. Absolutely everything you could. Unfortunately, sometimes even that's not enough. I did nothing. Just nothing. By the way, how are you feeling? Oh, what the I'm fuck are you asking a nap? Yeah! I mean the lack of your oxygen tank. Ah, oh. so you know. Gorski's oxygen jump didn't come out of nowhere, and your saturation is dropping. So, how are you feeling? It's bad, I've been hallucinating. Let's be honest this time. I've already experienced what Dr. Krauter referred to as mild cerebral symptoms. He even participated in them. I had a long and tiring conversation with him. Please don't ask for details. Mm -hmm. That seems like it's going deeper. This seems like it's going out. Let's go, yes now. Oh, damn it. The Fucking storm. Yes, no, I'm so sorry, darling. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there's a car. Can I get in, please? Well, it's uh, it's raining outside. I'm, I'm sure they don't mind if I just steal a seat for about two seconds. Yes, but I still have to pop back outside. Let's check something. Time is pressing, Doctor. The storm. I know, I know. What the fuck? That was so it's unnecessary. Haven't I been afraid of? Haven't I been afraid of? Haven't I been? Afraid of? Haven't, I been afraid of? haven't been yes. Haven't the haven't yes. I've been afraid of. Haven't. Mm. Game. There's a chance of an oxygen tank around here. Somewhere. Is that? 
That was illegal. That was illegal behavior. That was illegal. Right. No, start the rover. <laughs> get in. Yes, sir. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Please get in. <laughs> Let me send it in the rain, darling. I love that patch as well. Can I? What? Oh, just moved to the. But. Yep, on. I swear to God, yes, no. Thank you. The engine started. Then what are you waiting for? Leave this cursed place. Ah. I'm going. Please talk to me. I'm going. Please talk to me. Oh, shit. It hit the bonnet. Don't worry. Even if it hits the rover directly, you'll come out and escape. Yeah, the vehicle is, is kind of like a parody cage. The, the energy will flow through the body. Mm. The Everything will be fine. You'll see. You really? Oh, I, I had a response to Yasna, but it just didn't go. Mission on Eden 5. At that time, I was still a coordinator. But the crew was quite similar. A chemist, a cyberneticist, a doctor, an engineer, and a physicist. Simple uh... reconnaissance mission. And there was a miscalculation, and we crashed the rocket. Oh. Then we put it back together. <laughs> For whatever was on hand, quite easy. A true Frankenstein's monster, so to speak. Even more terrifying than the Oh, wait. Creatures? Huh? You are making this up, aren't you, sir? <laughs> Not at all. I was indeed on a mission to Eden. However, I might have. Well, somebody has a flair for storytelling. Maybe at a wrong moment. Oh. This is just a stressful bit. We see so little. And this is all a lot. And... If I kill Yasna, I will never live. I will never forgive myself. Okay. Oh God. Oh my God. Don't make me drive. Oh piss. Oh Yasna, darling. Here. Yeah. Sure, darling. Yep. Yeah. 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 Here it is. <laughs> Here it is, the passing. Damn it. I'm having trouble finding the right way. You've got to head southwest. How am I supposed to know where southwest is? <laughs> I'm running into a cave. A storm is How am I supposed to where southwest so is? That's what I'm saying. Oh, God. Oh. <gasps> That's not it. I left the structures behind. It's an ordinary rock formation. Even better. You have to catch your breath eventually. Can I ask for one thing? What? The model number of the rover. Uh, what for? Is that it? I've got an idea, but it depends on the model. Yeah. Uh, Emmett 2001. Space Odyssey. Could that be it? Uh, let me see. You're still having me do reconnaissance right now? I have the box, but it's all locked up. Really? Uh, must have changed the equipment because I 
Change the equipment, how do you know? Where did you even get a catalogue of their gear from, sir? Yeah, exactly. Where is that info anyway, coming from? doesn't matter. What should I do? One second. I need to think. Don't know if this can help. But the Alliance labels black boxes as data loggers. Eureka. Cable access. Look for something resembling a socket and a plug. I had a hand icon over this for a while, so I'm gonna... Oh, no. It's not letting me... A socket or a plug. This! Dude! Dude! Oh, do I need to move? Yep. Oh, no. It's just a light. Oh, who turned the light off? I was, I was, I was, we're, we're driving in the dark. We're driving in the dark. I'm going to turn the light off. I'm not, I can't see the room. Turn it off. Turn it off. This is, um, this is a, a very brief experience of, um, riding with my step parents in the car and you turn on the, the overhead light. I hope you enjoyed that. I think I have something like that. Then you can connect to the probe's brain there. Uh, presto. Uh, resto. Resto work. Modesto. These inputs are not compatible with Commonwealth plugs. From the outside, our equipment is different, but inside we have the same guts, so to speak. The cable on the back of the box should already fit. <sighs> same guts, hey? Just like with humans. I love you, Yasna. Wait. Oh, what? No, 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 don't close it. Okay, it's in. Just a Well done, Doctor. I'm receiving a signal. So, what now? Oh, can I take a nap? Was this ma- Was this man in the line, dude? Maybe. That- That's how he knows all the shit. Turn up- <laughs> Turn the light up, we're gonna crush! That is a very accurate experience. Oh? Ugh. As terrifying as it all is, it's pretty cozy. The rover was connected to a base. The one from the slides? Uh, most probably. Alliance Heroes, I like that. So, oh, there's so many cool little graphic design bits. Also, that I would like that as a patch. Oh, we good. We good. Can I go to sleep? No one is transmitting from the base. On the other channels, all I hear is static. The storm must be causing interference. Take a nap, nap. Yes, no, you deserve it. The storm is raging. I don't know if I can fall asleep. It may not be that simple. I'm too tired to sleep. Yeah, I know that paradox all too well. Can I help you somehow? I'll tell you what I saw on the ground. If we talk, maybe I'll finally fall asleep. Actually, have anything specific in mind? Yes, actually. I wasn't able to report it earlier. But I found fossils underground. Fossils? Based on my brief observations, they belong to lizard-like creatures. Really? Is there something lived on this sterile rock? Please forgive the question, but are you sure? Well, I didn't imagine them, did I? Data. I got a hope. Something else. Of ahead of Give me a lizards. I wonder why. A new. I ask why you became you, yeah, an astronaut. There are two answers to this question. An honest one, 
and uh, personal lie. To give you the clearest picture of the truth, I'd have to tell you both. I'm all ears. <laughs> As cadets, we participated in the Syrian meetings. HQ organized them to encourage potential recruits. We all said the same thing, just a little different. We all want to push the boundaries of human potential, discover what is undiscovered. I remember childhood memories when we first heard about that brave forces of the Commonwealth. Sometimes these speeches were already being prepared during the training, if you understand what I mean. Mm. The astronaut wished to explore space. They had to wish that. But my reason, an honest reason, not a nice sounding memory that never happened. I've never been able to find my place. So I came to the conclusion that I would not find it anywhere except out here. In space, although I never dreamed of exploring. Such lofty ideas as expanding human limits were of little interest to me. It's among my crew that I just fallen. Yes, no, just fallen asleep. Oh. What can I hear us? Oh, wait. Astrogator, can you explain to me what I'm hearing right now? This is a recording from the rover. The Alliance has apparently broken the encryption of our radio channel. Oh, bollocks. Oh, piss. So, so what yeah. do we do? We need to change the frequency and encryption key. What's the meaning of that? What's the point? As soon as you give me a new channel, they will overhear us and change it as well. Just look at the probe's brain. Luna? What's with... All you have to do is watch Luna? it closely. I'm switching now, waiting for you to join. Oh, I see. The new frequency is... Yeah, for their channel. Okay, the channel is active. Now the encryption key. The first three digits of the cipher are... Wait, the first... Wait, again, again, sorry. Three. Two. Seven. The next is two, one, four. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm here. Well done. That should buy us some time. Cool. So, how should we continue? Uh, don't you need more time to rest? I do. But there's no way I'm going to sleep now. Besides, nothing's stopping me anymore. The storm has subsided. All right. And let's not risk evacuating directly from the city. It should be safer outside its perimeter. Mm. I took the liberty of looking through the photos of the nearby area. Everything north and east of your location looks relatively safe. All you have to do is move away from this cluster of metal. So? Should I go back to the ship? That's an odd question. Of course you should come back. Now even more than ever. Mm. Very concerned for your safety, Doctor. Uh, no need to be. I'm fine. Leave the city. And I think this is also a good point for me to end because we've been going for a long time. Ah. Uh, Yasna's voice acting is so good. I know I said it before, but she sounds like she's about to collapse. She, the, Yasna's voice actress is a, it's incredible. So good. Thank you for hanging out, Rexiv. Have a lovely day or afternoon. But yeah, I appreciate you hanging. Very nice. Hi, Fafuro. Fafuro, how am I doing, Johnny? I'm doing all right. I'm I'm playing an incredible game. I mean, I've played an incredible game, and I'm part way through it. I think I think it's like a two streams kind of game. So we're gonna do more on Thursday, which I'm so excited about. Everything about this game has been fantastic so far. It genuinely has been so good, hasn't it? I am just ah, oh. yeah, great atmosphere, fantastic characters, beautiful writing, uh, beautiful art, great designs. It's 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 a banger. 
I think it's a certified banger, this one. Really, really loving it. And I think, how often do we play a game where we are, n not in a way where something is like, I don't know, sometimes I guess you maybe you watch a movie and you're like, oh, this is predictable, blah, blah, blah. How often, th th these are so, uh, like, Yasna especially is such a smart character that we'll be discussing something in the chat or I'll be saying something and then right away she, like, she reacts to those things in a way that's so realistic and that's so, I don't know. I don't want to say it makes it relatable, but uh, I don't know. I just feel like that, that word is kind of overused. It, it makes her feel so real like i believe her being in this i mean also yeah let's like like for as you said the, the work that the voice actress is adding to it is is incredible just the, this is a this is a perfect victoria sponge of greatness when it comes to the layers that are supporting the whole of the piece it's i love this game so much i'm so excited to play more I just don't want I, I don't want to push through too fast. I just wanna I want us to be able to savor it and to really enjoy it. I'm god incredible. I'm so 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 happy we're playing Kutura. This this is like reinvigorated me so much. Oh but yeah. Holy frick, this is great. Ah. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for hanging out. This has been a, such a blast. I, I shall continue this and on Thursday. And I hope to see you then. Uh, but for now, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye! <laughs>